the okay, number. Al, would you rather 50 black guys <laughs> or 75 Asian dudes okay. have been with a girl? You have to choose between two of them. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. What, 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 <laughs> they're Asian. Okay, now we have to adjust the numbers. This work is really fun. Yeah. 25 black guys. Whatever the other thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Change it up even more. Seven black guys. Oh, How about which blacks? Francis were buried? Ngannou. <laughs> Son, a thousand anything. <laughs> All right. One Francis and Ghana, 50 Asian dudes. 50? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, before we started recording, we were all trying to make fun of Alex's burlap outfit. And Schultz's videographer, Vala, had an absolutely legendary bomb. And this is where our episode begins. <laughs> do it one more time. Yeah, yeah, do it one yeah, more time. Yeah, yeah. Press record. Right. Right. Do it one more time. <laughs> you want to know what I said? It's like, if you brought one more sack, we could have done a sack race. But don't, no, no, don't no, no, have no. that. <laughs> 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 but he did an act out with it, too. That's what <laughs> that's what <laughs> fuck you. Do the act out. Okay, we're going to start from the beginning. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting outfit, Al. What are we going to say about that? That's oh, crazy. Dude, if you brought one more sack, we could have done a sack race. <laughs> 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 How is that not funny? How is that not funny? <laughs> it, it turned out to be the most funny. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant. Your boy celebrated his 40th birthday yesterday. Hey, it's Uncle yep, yep, Schultz yep, yep, now. Yep. Oh, oh man. And I got it. I got to say thank you so much to all of you guys, uh, my wife. Tanya for organizing an absolutely awesome birthday. That was incredible, man. I really yeah. mean it. Thank Bye, you, guys. Were up. For real, that was so much fun. I think that I'll be gay for a moment. I think that like sometimes, yeah, just it <laughs> might extend. To yeah. <laughs> but it, like, like I think sometimes birthdays can be tough because it creates the opportunity for disappointment. Like, you know, like when people aren't there for you for like a dinner or something in regular life, you're like, oh yeah, everybody's got, you know, things to do. They're busy. They got friends. They got family. But then on your birthday, if they don't show up, it's, and again, this is stupid because people are busy, but you can convince yourself there's that little devil. It's like, oh, I guess I wasn't important to them or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And, uh, um, feel taken for granted. You feel whatever. Yeah. 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 But it's like not, not even taken for, it's just like, oh man, I wish that, you know, our relationship was, was stronger or something like that. And, um. And it was just, I mean, yeah, that's the surprise party was so cool. And then like the after party was yeah. so cool. And like, I never want to put forced pressure on anybody. I never want people to think like, oh, you got to be there for me. You have to be nice to me. I like earning my right. attention, if you will. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's what we do on stage. Right. Right. And, um, but it was just, I just felt so filled up with, uh, with love and it was awesome. And I just really am grateful for you guys, man. That, that was a great way to spend my birthday. It was yeah, really cool. I love you, man. I love, I love, love you, too, man. You up. I really love you, too. I love, yes, or, yes. I feel yes. Like but right. after yes. we're here, then you do force that whatever fucking stick shit that oh, is. Dude, the yeah. You Jeez. were filling him up. Bro, that you, was awesome. You, you got a good hit on that. Bro, one. that just sent me home. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that just sent me home. I felt like shit after that one. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya hit one and she she hit the stanky leg. We had to, no. Bro, we had to hold her up. No. We had to hold her up. She came in with too much confidence. <laughs> Yeah, that that tobacco came from Palestine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Middle Eastern tobacco is different, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Knows who it's targeted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. No, it was just such a great. It was so. It was so great, man. I really am, am, am really grateful. And how did you feel this morning? Man, I felt like shit. But then I started to recover. I'm getting good at getting hungover. Oh shit! That's I all think right. I'm beating it. The now. perks of alcoholism nobody talks about. Yeah. You get better at dealing with the hangover. Is that mm -hmm. it? I think so, yeah. bro. I think so. Because the hangover I had a few days ago, I was fucked for the whole day. Mm -hmm. This one, I was only fucked for like half of it. So if I keep on drinking, yeah, right, yeah. Come on, I might boy. not be hungover. Come on, boy. <laughs> boy, boy. I think that's what a lot of these motherfuckers do. These yeah. cowards quit. Yeah, yeah before they could fully beat the hangover. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're just breaking through the other side. Oh, that's anyway. what I do. I drank too much, got in the hot tub, chilled out. You Wait, know what, what I mean? Where's your hot tub? Just in you know, my house, a little hot tub, fell asleep a little bit, woke up. Wow. Yo, felt good you, wow. Wild boy, Yo, with yeah. everything happening yeah. in the Middle East what? right now, <laughs> Wait, with everything happening. Yeah. With, your birthday? And, you, <laughs> and my birthday. What are you even talking yeah. about? What? what are you referencing? You're not my friend. Uh, whoa, whoa. Yo, what are you you're talking not my about? Friend, dude. Yeah, that's my not a very friendly comment at all. He couldn't be referencing friends. There's a black guy here. Yeah, exactly. That's a good ass point. This has nothing to do with friends. Yeah, they would never drown. What? <laughs> That's a season two that happens to every character. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, are you referencing uh, Matthew Perry's death? Who's that? Oh, thank God. Guys, uh -oh. 
Thank God, it's just a coincidence what he was talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I guess you didn't know that. That's why you made that really off-color joke. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, Matthew Perry, who's an actor from the famous show Friends, oh. has passed away. Tragically. Tragically. He died in a hot tub, just like what you were talking about, but clearly not exactly. Because mm. you don't even watch TV, you don't even know that show. Never heard so of it. So you weren't trying to make some edgy joke, you edge lord. Call me a lord, dude. This is a great title. I like that. Yeah. But wait, what did happen it. with Matthew Perry, man? This is so tragic. It's sad, yo. I'm yeah. I'm a big Friends fan. We know this. I'm yeah. sad about this. Yeah. This guy died in a hot tub. And Struggled do- with drugs his whole life. We oh, don't know yeah. what happened. We're still trying to figure it out. But... Mark is full full blown conspiracy theory on this. A oh. lot of people have been talking. I don't think this. This is, is crazy. Yeah. I don't. Have think you this seen his most true. recent Instagram post? Oh no! Don't tell me it's something with a hot tub. It's something with a hot tub. It's there's very, no way there's something with a hot tub shifting. I, it just seems strange to it's me. It's him I don't in know a what hot happened. tub. And then what is the caption just says? Uh, I don't know what happened. All respect to him and his family, but it also is weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good. I'm Matt, man. What? Him in a hot tub. I'm just saying, bro. It's a huge hot tub, by the way. This guy's got a nice, he got a nice tub. No, he's Overlooking right. that way. Who's taking that picture? I don't, George Soros, probably. Oh, probably my fucking God. Illuminati. Is that him in the corner? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just. Oh, with the beats on? Yeah. Okay, so what do we think happened here? Oh, somebody killed him. Yeah, my Do you think you think it was a murder? Yeah. Why? Look at the evidence. That's all the evidence we need, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the evidence. <laughs> yes. Guys, we shouldn't be joking around about yeah, this. Nah. We're I'm not on. laughing at his death. I'm laughing at this. <laughs> Look at the evidence. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're Dude, I'm very sad out. about that. Can, can I ask an honest question? Because I think the outfit is very creative and cool. <laughs> okay. For, okay. Uh, this is an honest get question. Get your act out ready. It's not. <laughs> I don't have, have, have no get, act. get it ready. So. <laughs> Alex, I have no act out. I just want to let you know. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. I'm already prepared to just stop at the bomb. Okay. 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 I'm not going to act it out. Why? Okay? I just need to understand if this is like a paid thing. <laughs> nah. You don't have a relationship with the... I do have a relationship with the... Okay. Yeah. And then is this oh part God, of Scott. Halloween? Because it is Halloween. We're filming this on Halloween. Mm. Yeah. Let's say I'm Scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I could do... You could pass with Scarecrow if I do some shit on right now. Yeah. Uh oh! Run it back! Run it back! Follow! <laughs> follow! Run it back! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Oh, oh, oh sacrifice! I helped you out! I helped you out! What are you doing? Are you doing like a sacrifice? I, <laughs> <laughs> I helped you out right there! Sacrifice? I helped you out! Bro. Oh man! Fuck you guys! Honestly, <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys are pulling a prank. No, <laughs> we're not pulling a prank. We're no, trying. Why job. is nobody making fun of Alex's outfit? That's what I need to know. Yeah. Why are you guys sitting here on the couch? It's very out there, but it's also kind of fluff. What I said, like, the first thing I said. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, it's, it's hard fire. to make fun He bombed so bad it got on our heads. Yeah. yeah. Let's get out yeah. of our heads. We have to get out of our heads. He bombed so bad. Stop affecting us. Because if, if we go at it, you have got to go perfect or else it's going to yeah. be. I don't want to be. Nah, you really help. What would you say? Help me. Hold on. What would you say if. What if Akash showed up dressed like a human trafficked? Damn. Act it out. Act it out. Act it Help me. No, no, no. Don't act it out. Take me back to my family. Don't act it out. Take me back to my family in Eastern Europe. Never mind. Is that? No? Okay. 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 What if Akash came dressed up as that? What would we say? As this? Yeah. That could be my outfit, for real. That could be my Halloween outfit. Basmati rice. Indian bag of rice. There you go. That's what I'm doing. I mean, his hips didn't look like that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> it like a bag of rice for a minute. Bro. Honestly, yeah. It's it, We were talking about this before the pod, how, how miserable you are. And I need you to just be honest with the people. Are you more miserable now that you're skinny? No, I'm not. It's just Can not, you just it's not be fun. honest? I'm being honest. It's not fun trying to be skinny, but you being can't even fat stay sucks awake. more. You can't even stay awake. Well, that's because I have a cold. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no negative side effects to Oh, dude, diet. we had a fantastic dinner last night at a place I've wanted to eat at for a long time. Oh, fantastic. Shouts yeah. 
And then they uh, were just passing delicious plate after delicious plate. Shouts to and him. every time. Shouts to Emilio. I didn't know if I could say it. Shouts. Yeah, shouts. I said shouts, Yo, and I was shouts. like, wait, am I Yo, fucking up? Who ordered the paparazzi? Son, Joe's got paparazzi. That was crazy. Who ordered the paparazzi? That, that, that was no, crazy. Somebody did that shit. You Nobody. ordered the paparazzi. Yo, mad uh, paparazzi bro, waiting just outside. Pop it out here, son, son, it, there wasn't even a card in the camera. <laughs> no. It was just flash going on. Son, there's, we go outside the restaurant. We leave. There's mad paparazzi there. I see sure. Charlemagne. Somebody ordered that I'm thinking that shit, they bro. just want pictures of Charlemagne. Charlemagne, Charlemagne the also, also brought like a congresswoman. Yeah. Yeah. She, they both left though, so I'm like, oh, I so what a flex! <laughs> you just invite Charlamagne, Charlamagne, somebody. Apparently, Charlamagne goes to my wife, "Hey, can I? It's gonna be me plus three. And my wife is like, "Yeah, that's fine." Like Andrew's 40th birthday is yeah. probably, you know, some people that are close to us, or whatever. And he just shows up with a fucking congressman. <laughs> Bro, yeah. That's a flex. So, that so is fire. She walked in and asked me. She was like, "Is it cool if I join?" I was like. I don't know. Yes, I mean, you're yes, a congressman, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you don't need our permission. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was wild. Uh, but then no, after Charlamagne gets in the car, electric. paparazzi's still hanging out. And then Andrew walks out, flash, 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 flash. I thought y'all did this. No. I was trying to look at the paparazzi and like see if it was our friends. Mm. Nah, did, nah. did you hear what Miles said? What Miles was killing what, what he's Because I walked out and we were the first ones out and the, the guys were there. Yeah. And I was like, Miles was like, dude, there's paparazzi. I was like, what? Are you being serious? I was like, how many? He's like, He's like four. And then he looks, he goes, oh, fuck. Well, like three and a half. <laughs> Miles, turned did, around. You, did you make an off color joke yeah, there's about a, a small a, person? There's a dwarf paparazzo. <laughs> I forgot I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, you can't make off color jokes like that, man. But I forgot I said that. Did we see that guy's photos? <laughs> no, you, it was all just slow. <laughs> it was all just crotch He shots. got clear shots to me, but not the rest of them. <laughs> there was not a midget paparazzi. Bro. There was a little midget paparazzi. Oh, bro. I miss the midget. I love midgets. They're <laughs> 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 just so pleasant to see, man. They make you happy, yeah. don't they? Uh, they're the best. I hate that we haven't found a good thing to say about this outfit. <laughs> I was going to say it, something. It, bro, I was going to say something, but I was like, fuck it. If just, I bomb again. Just do it. Just do it and act it out. Like, you got it. I was like, you could put the midget in your outfit and toss him. And then do it. Now do it. Now do it. Come on. Mala, toss it. Toss something. Toss something. Just toss something. Just do it. Yeah. God. Damn, bro. <laughs> no, this pathetic, one, the bro. second, the second one was a little better than the first. One. Yeah, 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 it was a little better. Yeah, what, what's your outfit? You haven't dressed your awesome outfit. Come on, take a guess. Take a wild guess. I knew the first one. You said it was three things. I knew Billy Madison. This is Billy Madison. That's oh. great. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. What else, though? Well, you'll see, man. I have multiple. I have outfit changes during this episode. He has all three of them on right now. I thought this could be three things. <laughs> he hasn't had real food in seventy-two <laughs> hours. Guy is a okay, the cognitive retard. function is very low right now. He was around chicken parmesan's last night. It was salivating. He was angry. I remember seeing you go up to get your wife, and you were so upset because there was food on the table you couldn't eat. So, <laughs> yeah. It's like no, seeing no. a married dude at a strip club. He's just like, oh, God. what is happening? Oh, right come now? on, let me have a bite. What was the thing you wanted the most? Oh, that pasta looked crazy. <laughs> that pasta looked crazy. What would bro. you have done? Oh, and the dessert. Yeah. I had a bite of the chocolate cake and a bite of the cheesecake. I saw you take the bite. Your hand was uh, trembling I as was, you put hey, the fork into the, the cake. The cheesecake, I was so happy. <laughs> I, was so happy. I, I was like, this <laughs> is this is life. Yeah, that cheesecake was What are the rest of us doing? Yeah. What if we do for just this episode, anytime we make a joke, Val is behind us and he has to act it out to the best of his <laughs> what, what if that is just part <laughs> of the If he's episode? willing, I love that. If you're willing to do it, when we make a good joke and it's up to you to decide if the joke is good. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm heartbroken right now. I don't know. If, I don't know if you realize this, Vala, but it's funnier when we don't laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. I, I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so like talking to the mic. No, we're we're I gaslighting you. Shambles right now that I bombed two times in a row. Oh, three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did three? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three. <laughs> No, he's got the Jesus ledger in the back. Shifty. He's got the ledger. It's on the blockchain, dude. He's a savage. He's a savage. He's a savage. He's a savage. We got three bombs Oh, my God. Here. Tour announcement. Australia, we're coming. Okay? Perth, we added that second show. Still some tickets available for that. Sydney, we added a second show. Added more seats for that. So grab those while they last. And Brisbane, we added more seats. Thank you so much for selling out these shows. This has been absolutely amazing. And then we're coming back to America. The first three cities 
are up right now for the Life Tour in America, okay? We got Chicago, Boston, and Washington, D.C. We've added second shows in each of those three cities. Go get those tickets right now, theandrewschultz.com. Thank you guys so much for the support. I cannot wait for you guys to see this hour. Peace. Also, guys, December 1st and 2nd is sold out in Portland, so we're adding another show. Get your tickets at augustsing.com for that. December 8th, New Orleans. Uh, December 17th, 18th, and 19th, Glasgow. We added a show in London. Glasgow, y'all ain't really buying no tickets. I'm not going to lie about it. Would love if you did, because I don't want to hate Scotland more than I already do. And this is big. January 6th, 8th, and 9th. I'm coming to see other parts of Europe. I'm going to Oslo, Amsterdam, and Eindhoven. I don't even know what that is. That sounds like an oven mitt of some kind, but I'm going to be there. Get your tickets at akashsing.com. Let's sell these hoes out. Anyway, last night was fucking awesome. Thank you guys so much. And we got decorations in here that are beautiful. Can you address the paparazzi? That was real, bro. You're there now. Paparazzi hanging There's out There's no you. way, dude. <laughs> Do you remember Stop how he it. reacted when he came outside? It was almost adorable. He was like, there's no way. He was like a little kid. He put his hands in his pockets. He's like, get the fuck Who hired you guys? Who hired you guys? <laughs> Because my, my feeling on the paparazzi is like, so I had like a dude that was famous live below me when I was growing up. Yeah. I don't want to say his name, but whatever. And uh, and there was never paparazzi. And I'm talking about like famous, famous. Yeah, like, he was like A-list. A-list, A -list. famous, famous, still to this day, never paparazzi. And I'm like, and there was no doorman or nothing on the building. Like they could be right there if they wanted it. Mm -hmm. Never there. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, this is all by design. Like PR companies are doing, you probably yeah, heard about shit like yeah. this, right? So uh, once I saw that, I was like, okay. And now there, there are certain people I think the paparazzi do attach themselves to. And those are like people who are famous for the sake of being famous. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like they have that escape velocity yeah. with their fame, you know? And, uh, but I think everyone else just hires the paparazzi around when they have to like drop a movie or an album or something Absolutely. to get some yeah, images yeah, yeah. out there. That's why I saw it and I was like, I'm not one of those people. Like if you like my comedy, you watch my comedy, you know who I am, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not like a, where did Andrew Schultz eat dinner tonight? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You should have attacked one of them though. Bro, oh, that yeah, would have yeah. been the, the funniest Kanye thing. <laughs> oh. That would have been good. That's I, I, I literally, I couldn't, I was like, which person is doing this? What a fucking <laughs> prank. Because the funniest thing would be if one of you guys planned it and then I like took it serious. Started doing interviews. And I was like, oh guys, come on. It's, just, <laughs> it's my birthday, guys. Can I have a moment with my wife, please? Like, please, like, why don't you respect our privacy? Like having that footage of me taking paparazzi serious as if they should be there for me yeah, yeah. would be a great prank. Yo, but I'm fucking punching one, yeah. the oh, midget. Oh, 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 just send him across Mott Street. <laughs> yeah. What's the point at which it gets annoying? Put him in a sack and throw. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Now it's get it, get it. <laughs> now, fuck now. You. <laughs> fuck you, bro. Fuck all of y'all laughing at that. No, that was a good joke. <laughs> Dude, good joke. that joke was awesome. Dude, we just need one more. We can have a sack. <laughs> oh, 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 he did it. <laughs> Oh, he really See, went there. Bro, it's that's how it's done, dude. That's it's the oh, time. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, fuck you. You use the word sack twice. I'm telling you. Get out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Bro, the best thing happened right after the paparazzi. Okay, go, 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 go. went, and then one rat took a strike on all of us, bro. He saw <laughs> that. The chain reaction of our wives freaking out was so funny. I know. Oh, Dub I got that. on all fours, and he was just scurrying around. <laughs> <the> <laughs> And it was, yo, yo, ah! no. and, it, and people were terrified, dude. People never were absolutely it. terrified. Yeah. We were like, no, come on, come on, get up here. Yeah, do, it, do it, volley, yo, do it. Yo, 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 volley, go. Yo. Volley, hit it. Volley, do it. Hit it. Yeah. Do the dove. The act out, the act out. Oh, my God. The dove, dove, looking for the cheese. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh my god, that's crazy. Dude, Vala's back, He's guys. back, Vala's bro. He's back. He's back. Vindicated, bro. Yeah. I'm back, baby. <laughs> that red joke gonna get clipped up and Twitter's gonna say, Andrew Schultz just perfectly summed up how the people are <laughs> <laughs> You're going viral. You're going viral, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, those are some of the birthday decorations Miles got you. Thank you. Just a, a tombstone. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll do my best to not eat this during the pod. Oh, uh, move it away because you know you got to eat that. Yeah, shit. Yeah, have you reflected on 40 yet? Have you taken it in and been like, yo, I'm 40? 39 was way harder. Really? Yeah, 39 was way harder. I remember distinctly feeling that. 
What did you feel about 39? Uh, I was uh, 39. All the emotions for 40, I felt at 39. Mm. And then 40, I think a lot of times there's anxiety for dudes with their age when it comes to, like, the things that they've achieved in their life. Not yeah. even just work, which is, you know, like, marriage, you know, family, these types of things. Like, where am I on this course that I've plotted for myself? And... Um, I feel I feel really proud. Like I feel happy. I have I have friends. I have a wife. You know, is yeah. my fucking dream girl. And um, you know, my family's healthy ish. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm like really proud of where I am in life. So I I didn't feel like that anxiety about getting older. But at 39, I was like, oh, I'm no longer young. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like 38 was the last. I don't know. It's hard to describe. 38 was the last time I could feel young-ish. Oh, uh, okay. 39 feels like 40's coming. Mm. At 38, nobody's going, hey, 40's coming. I, I do feel 40's coming at 39 yeah. right now. Yeah. I feel like, yo, 40's coming. You got to start. I never felt super young at 35, 36, but I was like, 40's coming now. You're a you're an adult. Bro. Yeah, but you've, you've already know. processed that, so 40 will be fine. Yeah. I've, I remember 30 hit me, and then 31 hit me. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, this number just keeps going up. Yeah. If you're lucky, it just keeps yeah. getting higher. Yeah. And this, and then I was like, well, that's just life now. So it's just gonna keep. I, so I, I, I think I will say this though, that shit goes by fast, bro. Mm. That shit goes by fast. And there's this, there's like a Socrates quote that I'm gonna butcher, but like uh it's something about you're playing the game and there's way less time left than you think. So enjoy it. Oh yeah. And yeah. And it's, it is true. Like if I think about how fast 40 years went by, what a fucking, yeah. And unbelievable. Then, like 20 years ago, half of my life ago felt, feels like last year. Dude, college feels very Living recent. together in, in, in that apartment. That was feels, a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, and that was what, 10 years, something like that? Yeah. College feels like it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. For us colleges, 20 years ago, we were freshmen. Yeah. It's crazy. Dude. So enjoy it. Soak it up. And that's why our parents are always like, oh my God, you grow up so fast. And I'm even seeing it with my nieces. Like they're growing up. And so that's, I completely get now why when we have kids, we're going to do the same thing that the kid gets annoyed with. And they're like, shut up. I'm not growing up. And you're like, no, I, you. You're growing up so fast. You have no idea. I yeah. cherish this. I'm going to miss this. Mm. You can, Life, you can only live it forward. You can only understand it backwards. And my oh, dad great. always says that thing, youth, why is it wasted on the young? And I don't think that we waste it. Like, I genuinely am very proud of the way that, you know, I, I've, I guess, conducted myself mm -hmm. in life. Like, I, yeah, the things that I always wanted and cherished, I have. You know, lots of great friends, building businesses, making money together, you know, creating security for ourselves, family, that kind of stuff. So that I feel very good about. But it is lightning fast, this life. Yeah. And I feel like it just gets faster and faster. You know, it's like, um, what is it, a centrifugal force, centripetal force? Like the further out you go, the faster you're going okay. to, to keep up. That's life. Yeah. Like the further away you're going from day one, mm -hmm. the faster it fucking feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Well, man, you are, I texted you this, but I, I thought I was going to miss this episode, but you are, I want to say, because you don't get often to be gay without being called gay. <laughs> and this is like your 40th birthday. You are an inspiration to me. And then there's a part of me that's always like, man, I want to beat Schultz to something. Let me do something first. Mm -hmm. And I thought about, I was like, I've learned so much from watching you be first at everything. You really inspire me beyond just like the work ethic and all the stuff you've done for me with the pod. Just watching you get more famous every day and become a better person every day. I don't know if you understand how fucking rare that is. No, that makes and me I love you and I'm so proud of you and I'm so inspired love by you. Love you, dogs. You're my brother. Love you, my and, brother. Thank uh, you so much. I just want to say much. that publicly. Thank you. I don't know if people get how rare you are as like someone who's trying to be a better person while getting more and more successful. Yeah, that's, thank you, man. That means of a course, lot. Man. Of course, man. Of course. And that's the, uh, that's, that would be the goal. Yeah. I mean, that's why it was so awesome having everybody there yesterday. It was just, so, you know, just looking around this group of people that like I genuinely care about and want everybody to succeed. That's like, what a great gift. I mean, I said it yesterday, but that is, it's, it's like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if the quality of, of your life is judged by like how many people would do things for you. I think it's like how many people you would do things for, mm. because that's, that's like a really deep connection that you have with those people, those people you want to protect, you want to care for, you want to, you know, see flourish, right? And um, I was looking around this room and I was like really excited by everybody there. 
and mm-hmm. and it was I mean everybody you know from Charlemagne was so instrumental in like everything that I've been able to do and obviously you building this with you and then seeing Mark you going out to create camp and all this other success and stand up and just crushing it and then Alex obviously with WTF and I'm just looking around at all these different people and it was just like even my friends from like high school and college and it was just like wow this is pretty awesome this is really awesome so I think that's what that, it was easier to like hit 40 mm-hmm. knowing that I have this room full of people that I'm like building things with. Yeah, building with your friends is crazy. Dude, I yeah. was telling them last week, we weren't even reflecting, but I was just like, oh, you know what's wild? Andrew and I started this podcast in his, in his parents' apartment yeah. on his laptop. He don't yeah. even use a computer anymore. Yeah. That's how long ago. So it's just like, it's just very cool. This is an opportunity to look back yeah. and be like, wow, man, this is a fucking, we, we did some very cool things. Yeah. And just awesome what you guys did for me making that day really special. Of course. Man. Yeah. Never forget that. That was so cool. And I hope we continue to do that for, for everybody. I know we throw birthdays for everybody here. And I, I think it's important because on that day, they should know that people care about them. Cause it's very easy to feel like, very easy to feel like maybe people don't, if nobody shows up for you that day and all the rest of the days are just kind of pleasantries, mm-hmm. you know, but yeah, yeah, it was cool. Very cool day. And we're back, baby. We are back. Sick outfit change. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I had to get my outfit change. What is this? SpongeBob. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> okay. What did I just tell you? <laughs> you were pissed off about my favorite cartoon. Yeah, but did you know that your favorite cartoon is built on a lie? Okay. <laughs> what is the lie? He doesn't have pants, bro. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, he does. No. He doesn't have one. He doesn't have pants. And two, they're not square. Okay, that guy. He okay, has well, pants. Uh, they're shorts. They're shorts. Oh. SpongeBob Square shorts. And you know what? All That's shorts are square. No, 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 no. Those are just Andrew Lem pants right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm SpongeBob Square pants? That, Finally. That makes sense. He's been yeah. riding me this whole time. <laughs> and they are rectangular in a, in a lot of ways. All right, fair enough. Fuck it. So you all might right. be right, bro. Um, also, all right, you're so, not wearing the costume properly. Yeah. What is the, going the on? Son, the, 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 head. Pants, the pants didn't go down far enough, so I had to put the head by the dick. <laughs> <laughs> you made him a glory hole. I did. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, Who bro. brought that up at... Oh, <laughs> yeah. yo. So we're hanging out. So <laughs> so what's happened so, after I left? So bro? After you left, shit got lit. I ain't gonna lie. God shit damn. Shit got lit. We're at the we're at Champion Pizza. Shout out to Champion Pizza. And um and uh Foda <laughs> is yeah. Foda out of nowhere. I don't even know why he said this. He goes, Oh yeah, did y'all hear about the story where the 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 dad got head from his daughter in a glory hole. <laughs> Which banger opening line though? Yeah, and everybody's like, "No, we didn't hear about that story. Why don't you explain it?" And then where is it? It's in Germany or something like that. Amsterdam. It's in Amsterdam. Dad goes to this glory hole spot. Like, what is it? Father like daughter or whatever. The daughter is at the glory hole spot. Allegedly, she's blowing dudes in a glory hole. Dad gets blown. Pulls up the, over the curtain. Yeah. Daughter. This went viral on Twitter recently. Where this basically, can't be real. That's this is what people are saying. I choose not to believe it because it's insane, but apparently it's real. Dub, if it was a cousin, would it be cool? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They rehashed this whole thing last night. You know. You know. You they know. rehashed this whole thing. Wait, what do you mean? What happened? They brought up uh, his sisters. <laughs> no. What about them? Enough what that. about them? Mark? What about yeah. them? His whole story fell apart. His whole story fell apart. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, Vala was so hurt by it. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Nah, nah, nah. Don't they, believe they, it. They made that shit up. Mar- made Mark that shit and Dove up. had a powwow behind the scenes and yeah. be like, "Yo, can you clear that up for me?" Because that's no. too <laughs> no, 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 no. So Is that true? Dove came to the table like, "Guys, I was lying. You know, I was just making the whole thing but up." But then Mark's wife was like, "No, you weren't." Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. That was weird. And she was like, "Wait, what are you talking about? I remember this." Mm. So Dove said, "Oh, I was just lying." about Mark and his sisters and the, you know, whatever. Oh, you tried to back off of that funny thing yeah. that you said about Mark's family? And then Vala looks at all of us and he goes, wait, it's not real? And it hurt me so bad that I'm I'm doubling back down. It is real. It really happened, Vala. It did happen. I knew it. Yeah. A version of it did. I'm just trying to soften the, Just <laughs> I want to get back to where we were before. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Also, the cousin thing, your girl defended me. I no, you, it's, oh, she that is true. She's weird. That is true. She's weird with that. That that made me look at her a little bit. <laughs> weird, <laughs> I ain't true. gonna lie. Your girl I, said that she would smash out. Uh, no, <laughs> she said that it wasn't weird that 
<laughs> that Dove smashes was out his cousin. A, giving Dove a lap dance. <laughs> she said that wasn't weird. What lap dance in Toronto when your she cousin was, was giving you a lap dance lap and you were popcorn on her? Yeah. <laughs> you were doing What's that. that? Yeah, no, <laughs> you were hitting show, with the show popcorn. The sponge, yeah. Show the sponge, Bob. Show the sponge, Bob. You were hitting with the popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. You had that sponge, oh, Bob. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Bro. I'm ready. Yeah, that sponge was bobbing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. You remember? But yeah, she said that wasn't weird, and I'm like, ah, babe, come on, bro. I don't know. Now. Yeah, that's, that's fucking weird, weird yo. Oh she also God. said Dove's lie about me wasn't weird. You remember that? Yeah, but that, she's European. <laughs> but it's not a lie. Nah, but she's Bro. European. They walk around topless. So, I'm for her to, Being for her naked to with this, your family's fine, Because I'm European. <laughs> Be careful crossing your legs, bro. Why? You just, uh, the camera's getting a, a view. Is it coming out? Is the package coming out? Am I fluffed? Yeah. Hold on, I'm yeah. fluffed. You're you giving him that ice spice right there. So, you're giving him that ice spice. Yo, does ice spice have a fat ass or not? Whoa, yes. whoa, 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 whoa. Why I mean, disrespectful. Like, with all due respect, yeah. I don't know. It's not the craziest ass I've ever seen. Nah, chill out. It's not nah, like I feel like people are inflating her ass. No, no, no. Oh, it's inflated, but <laughs> it's real. That's why it's so impressive. Okay, so there we go. It's she. No, she has a beautiful body. Yeah. She's a very pretty girl. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But people are like, yo, the ass, the ass, the ass. We have seen larger asses. Is this fair? We have, but they're usually augmented. So we haven't really seen bodies like this that are just. So when we talk about born. asses, algae, and SAT words, ain't that Bro, crazy? Oh, ain't that crazy? Oh. He's a connoisseur. Oh, yeah. He's a connoisseur. He's an aficionado all of a sudden. I, 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 I like could it. dissect this one. Okay, so. Yeah. Nah, she looked crazy hot in that Betty Boop outfit. Adorable. Betty. Boop. Yeah, adorable. Yeah, adorable. It's also, without yeah, the sure. hair, without her typical, what, what is it called? Uh, the Raggedy Ann. Yeah, without the Raggedy Ann. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I just now realized she ain't have. <laughs> I mean, it looks so much better, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, what's that that much better? She's stunning. Look yeah. how stunning and beautiful is she is. Crazy. I did not even realize that. But, but the hair's iconic, though. The hair's yeah. iconic. I get it 100%. Mm hmm. No, she killed it, though. Respect. Yeah, Shout with all due respect, Isaac. Al, with all due respect, is there anything else you'd like to share? No, with absolutely all not. Due respect, I can't even respect anymore. Yeah. Wait, why? <laughs> I guess. Uh, mm? It's that much? Is that crazy? No, nah, I'm just saying. It's it, The performance is great. Back, yeah, yeah, the music. Not, performance not, is great. Al yeah. tweeted, has that Betty Boop red dress gone viral yet? <laughs> <laughs> Twitter Al is a wild boy. What time? What time? Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> it was late. Oh, damn, yeah. that's bad. I gotta delete that one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta delete that one. I'll get on Twitter late at night. It gets wild. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta talk about uh uh Hassan Minaj. Yeah, oh, we yeah. do. Free Hassan, like we've been saying. <laughs> yeah, we have. This whole time we yeah. were saying that was a lying ass bitch in the New Yorker. Yeah, absolutely. How dare dude. she? Absolutely. How dare she tell the exact Truth. <laughs> and then him go on camera and say, yeah, you were right. But. But you were wrong. Yeah. Now, I will say this. I was right about the, the high school girl. Remember I said the high school girl was racist? Mm, you were right about that. Because I said he was too cute to be rejected. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it had yeah. to be racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I was yeah. right about that one. But the other two ones, yeah, he did lie about it. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, if a white powder falls on my daughter, I don't think if it's a prank, I'm going to be like, we don't need to check this out. We don't need to go to the hospital. She got It's a prank. Yeah. I think you're going to be like, hey, there's white powder on my daughter. Let's go to the fucking hospital just to make sure she's not dying. Yeah. Mm. Let's call a doctor. I'm Indian. I probably know some doctors. Let's yeah. just see what's going on. Sure. I just think the same thing you know, exists for the, you know, from the last conversation we said where it's like, if you're lying to make it funnier, it's God great. Bless. Do it. Do it. And if you are lying to be some sort of hero or to increase victimization... Then it's corny. Yeah. And I don't think he said anything in the video that disputed that. Yeah. Outside of the girl situation, which I knew she was a fucking racist bitch <laughs> this whole time. I knew that. That's married to a brown guy. That's what she's guilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what these white people do. They're guilty, bro. Mm -hmm. They marry what they hate. Oh, <laughs> They're like, I need to make their lives miserable. They hate us so they make us. That's yeah. it, bro. <laughs> Think about it. If, you hate, if you're a woman, you hated brown men. Yeah. What's the number one way to drive one fucking crazy? <laughs> yeah. Marry that brown uh -huh. motherfucker. You're going to be miserable. You really want them to get driven crazy? Let them marry a brown girl. That's true. You know what I mean? But they're selfish. Whoa. These white women okay. are selfish. They okay. want to inflict the pain. That's true. They don't want to give all that joy to a brown woman that I believe. to drive a brown man crazy. That I believe. They're like, no, nah, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, free Hassan from that white bitch. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. free, free Hassan, bro. But I got to say, he's fucking fantastic. Did you guys watch the video? I watched, I watched some of it. He's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, even though the whole time he's just saying exactly what everybody criticized him for, 
He's going, yeah, I did lie to increase victimization, which is the criticism. He's not saying, oh, I didn't lie to make it funner. He's like, I lied to increase victimization. And the whole time I'm watching it and going, I know you're agreeing with the criticism, but you're saying it in a way that vindicates you. Yeah. And I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's that, good. That's Very how charming. I felt after. For yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamas need to hire him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like for profit or the IDF. But yeah, one of them need to get on this motherfucker for real. <laughs> Both sides. I mean, incredible. Yeah, 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 he's very charming. He's charming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White bitch, devil. <laughs> how, how dare she? How does white devil play him like that? How dare she? And how's she blaming on her family when you mm. knew it was her? Mm. That's fucked up. Maybe she loved him so much. She was like, I can't make this brown guy miserable. Oh. I got to find the next one. Mm. It's true love. It might have been true love. Holy shit. That's beautiful. But yeah, I think that's really the issue. But And you got to get these jokes, man. You're going to get these jokes. If you do some goofy shit like that, you're going to get these jokes. You know? But it was very well done. I'm not going to lie. It was handled very well. He's a smart guy, dude. It was handled very, very well. The kid's good. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. The kid's good. I think he went a little easy on the white girl, though. She should have got it worse. <laughs> what, what, what would you have done? I would have doxed her. What? <laughs> what, what? Do you know what that means? Yep. What does it mean? It's when you send a white powder. No, to their that's, house. Not, that's not doxing. <laughs> that's not that's doxing. That's not doxing. That's doxing, I that's thought. Not doxing. When you send a white powder to somebody, Wait. when you open it, uh, uh, you know how you open envelopes over your kid's head? Yeah. Always? <laughs> you know how when you're going through mail, you put your kid right underneath it and then you open it up? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought it is. Especially when I'm getting death threats. That's why I want a daughter. Exactly. I just want her to open it for me. Yeah, when I get a piece of mail from a no return address, I just get my child, and then I open it up upside down <laughs> over them, just in case, because you never know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't have it land on me. Yeah. And then you got this white bitch. Yeah. This white bitch, dude. You know what I mean? This white bitch. That's How the dare issue. she? That's the issue with this white bitch. Take down Hassan Minhaj. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's his name. Why are we even laughing at that? <laughs> that's how you pronounce his name. on in a way I didn't expect. Minhaj. Yeah. I, that sounds correct. I'm pronouncing it correct. Mm-hmm. Hassan, it? Hassan, Minhaj. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, Al. He's in a loop. He's in a feedback. Loop. I, am, I think I am. <laughs> yeah. I oh, think man. I am. So free Hassan. Free Hassan. Mm-hmm. Lock up the white bitch. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then third of all, we need to get this guy hired for some sort. Of, you know who needs him bad right now? Ukraine, bro. Because all the energies in the Middle East, nobody's giving a fuck about Ukraine anymore. They need a great propagandist that can sell you anything. And I don't know if there's anybody better than Hassan Minhaj right now. He could be president. Bruh. He could be president. Hmm. You really want to take down Trump? Take down Trump. Holy shit. Oh, that would be fire. Yo, that would be kind of awesome, actually. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Born in very racist I need to, I Davis, need California. A lot of racism in Northern California. I don't know if you do it. No Indians. A lot of racism. I need to see that acceptance speech from him. When he gets up there and he's like, four score and seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Our forefathers. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to take a break for a second. Before I talk about this next sponsor, I want to tell a quick story. Uh, I got to meet a dude named Saad Chowdhury. And uh, he'd been a fan for a while, big fan of the uh, flagrancy and uh, and the stand-up. And when I was in London, we met him after the show, Royal Albert Hall. And um, when we were talking, I didn't know that he was going to be one of the sponsors of the show. But he told me when he was listening to the pod earlier on, he was developing his career, he was making these video games. He's like, one day I want to be able to sponsor Flagrant. That would be so incredible. And his career started to rise and our show started to get more popularity. And we had this cool conversation in the bowels of Royal Albert Hall um, where he's like, I can't believe we're going to sponsor it. I'm like, oh, what is it? And basically he created the number one pool uh, game in the world. I mean, I have over 1 billion downloads, 10 million people playing it every single day. I mean, they, it's it's really amazing. It's called 8-Ball Pool. Anyway, I thought it was really cool that Asshole Army member uh, had built a business and um, and now we're actually getting to you know work together, which is uh, pretty fucking awesome. So uh, I want you guys to all go check out his game. Um, they've got real multiplayer, weekly events, tournaments happening all the time. And in fact, what we're doing is we're working on setting up an exclusive flagrant collab. So we'll have more details dropping soon. But for now, I want you to download 8-Ball Pool on your phone. You can download for free, okay? You can even uh, scan this QR code and you start playing it to practice. You get to level five to be involved because the number one flagrant player is in for two tickets 
to one of my shows. Oh, Flights yeah. and accommodation paid for. They got it. So uh, shouts aside, man. Congratulations on all your success. Keep on building. We're going to keep on building. And uh, really cool to be working together. So make sure you don't miss this, okay? We're all in. Major announcement cooking up with 8-Ball Pool very soon. And... Um, yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm stoked for you, my bro. Very stoked for you, dude. Continue success. And it's fun, too. I suck at regular pool. I can play this. I'm so bad at regular pool, I can play this. I'm actually shocked you're bad at pool. So bad. You have good coordination. I know. You would think. And I would. you would think I would know the angles, but no, I just don't. I'll hit like two or three amazing shots and then miss eight in a row. Huh. Don't make any sense. Yeah, think, you're like so I think coordinated. I'm in my head a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's like really surprising. We were even talking about you with, uh, we were playing Padel. And um, why you're good at it. I mean, like, you still have to get the tennis rust off. Yeah. But, like, you're just naturally coordinated. Yeah, more than I, it looks I, like. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say you're, like, freakishly athletic. Yeah. But your coordination. Yeah. Like, you you can pick up dance moves really well. Like You just be in a practice in a bar by yourself. Ping pong. You know? Yeah, absolutely. No, no, I'm, I yeah. know you're fucking busting balls, but I mean that sincerely. Like, so, pool seems like. Seems like it would be, and it drives me crazy. I think it's too much time to think. I need something that's a little bit more reflexive, but I can't really think. Just get uh, it. Just, just you're getting it. in your head about the yeah, shot. Oh, yeah. do I have the angle right? It's yeah, uh, am I hitting too hard, too soft? Am I going to leave it in the Whereas pocket? Whereas ping pong, you don't have time to react. Yeah, or quick. No. It's very it's quick. All reaction. Yeah. You don't have time to think. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I can I can get on board with that. All right, guys. We're going to take a break for a second. Listen, uh, it's time to learn another language. Okay. Open up the world to yourself. It was the best thing I ever did. I did it the old fashioned way. I had to go to another country and just live there and not be able to speak for a year and slowly figure it out. Then work in restaurants for years after that. What I want you to do is learn the language in the most easy, effective way. And Babbel has got your back. Okay. I'm telling you, Babbel is the perfect language learning tool. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or fooling yourself with the language apps, there are a little more than games. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. I just spent a year in Spain. This is three weeks. Babbel is for real conversations. All of Babbel's tools are approachable, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching. I'm and telling you. And they teach you the grammar they accent. teach you accent, pronunciation. It might not be as perfect as living there, but it's the best thing you can do, especially yeah. grammar if you're learning a new language. It's hard. Yeah, so basically, if you want to learn another language, shit, learn two, learn three, learn them all. Babbel has got your back, and we have a special, okay? Limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. You get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash flagrant. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash flagrant. That is spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash flagrant. Rules and restrictions may apply. Thanks for helping my handy, Babbel. All right, Mark. Mm -hmm. We went out last night. Mm-hmm. And we engage in some nice, fun hypotheticals with the boys. Yep. Okay. Column, Foda, the Joey Super Avery, Boys, Joey Avery, Miles, Missouri. Miles McCreary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now there were some interesting questions asked, posed mm. by Column and yourself. Mm. Where should we start? So one that me and Column have debated for a very long time. Yes. For for hours actually, is would you rather, <laughs> would you rather get with a girl? 28 years old, mm -hmm. you're gonna get with her. You might marry this one. Mm -hmm. That's had zero bodies or a hundred bodies. I think we know how I answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's quite logical, Al. Yeah. So initially I'm leaning towards zero because hundreds a lot. Hundreds a lot. Hundreds a lot. lot. Hundreds a lot. She's but 20 like, years old, though. Pounded! But never had sex, though. She what? ain't know what I'm she's doing. I'm assuming religion is involved Yo, here's somehow. The thing. You got a mm -hmm. teacher. Here's the thing. It don't take that long to learn. That's what I was trying to tell them. Mr. I've been fucking the same way since, like, the third time I fucked. Mm. I don't think I got any better. Probably not fucking good. On his back. On my back. Yeah. On my back. You love on your back. Just pop you said this. No, I've, I've transitioned to becoming lazy. Yeah. That's not lazy. Oh, oh. Nah. This, this is cool. Come on. Yes, it's cool. Yeah. That's all cool. P90X. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. Just not. This is, what? Yeah, literally. It is not literally. Yeah, literally. Come on, not, bro. It's uncomfortable. Come on, bro. <laughs> Y'all can't look me in the eyes while I pop calm. I'm looking at you right in the eyes right now. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm saying like you can learn sex quick. It ain't that crazy. So this idea like, oh, my God, the girl doesn't know how to fuck. You could teach him how to fuck within five sessions. It's not paddle. 
Yeah, but we're, we're our <laughs> age. You know what I mean? It's, it's nothing. It's not hard. We're built to be good at this shit. Wait, but are we also 20 in this hypothetical or we're our age right now? Whatever you want. Because I'm too old to be teaching some bitch shit. <laughs> you, know oh. <laughs> you teach people how to set up studios. <laughs> yeah. You can't teach a girl how to top? Mm -hmm. Also, and teaching now you can teach her exactly what you like. Yo, isn't teaching a girl how to suck dick a little gay? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah, just like, just and then squeeze and really suck the head of it. Like, like you acting it out yourself. <laughs> spit, spit, spit. So, yeah, yeah. It's like a little gay, right? Like, how you know this so yeah. well? <laughs> That's you know a good point, I mean? actually. But then what, what's the alternative? You don't teach them? You got to be like, uh, you know, try, I don't know, watch some shit. <laughs> yeah, you got to show it a video. Now, be like, for y'all exactly. that's experience, yeah. if we watch taught, YouTube it would be gay. It would be like, yo, how do y'all, how do y'all know this? And I'd be like, well, I Wikipedia did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you watched yeah, that Orno? It. Haven't you watched that Orno oh, yeah, yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess that's a. Yeah, that's, but that's also I gay because then you're like, damn, this guy's. I had a different dick mission so than good. taking notes at the time, though. Yeah. 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 You're just staring at this guy's dick and suck so awesome. But you're taking notes from her perspective, and that's gay. I guess it might be a, a tad bit. Yeah. So I guess you just have to say nothing and just tolerate it. No, nah, you can't do that. So yeah. how do you make it like secretly get it in her brain? While she's sleeping, maybe? Don't nut. <laughs> have them fail. <laughs> oh, really? Mm. You have to have them fail. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. No participation trophies. <laughs> no participation trophies. Oh, yeah, Back yeah. in the day, I did that so, one. And, and then that should work. That will they work. Try, buddy. Yes. It's dead ass. Never in their life have they experienced yeah. a situation where they couldn't get a guy to come, usually. I mean, it is like groundbreaking for a woman to go through that. So when they don't, yeah. they're like, I need to get better at this. I need to know how you ended it, be honest. No, I'm dead. I was how did like, you end it, though? Be actually, What'd you say? No, I was like, ah, it's just not really doing it. Yeah. <laughs> You're on X Factor. Yeah. <laughs> like, like judge That's on a no for me, dog. <laughs> 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 Randy Johnson. <laughs> Randy Jackson. Randy Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what Simon happened next Cal. time? Shorty uh, came back with a vengeance. Gave, yeah. gave her a few videos. Take it to Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. The golden buzzer. <laughs> no, it's crazy. It really works. Nah, it does work. I knew my, my boy dated this girl for a year because he didn't nut the first time they tried to fuck. She liked him for a year. <laughs> like her whole psyche was destroyed. She's a beautiful girl, used to getting whatever guy she wants. She can't even make the guy come. She's like, I, 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 I need to get this, this guy to come so I can feel good about myself. Mm. Who was your boy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, just bleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes so yeah, much sense. Yeah, yeah. I think he had a problem nutting, to be honest. Yeah. Why, why don't they shorter. make that as a supplement? Say hey, we'll make, give you a supplement no that nut. makes you not nut. It's, it's no a no nut. nut pill. 100%. And then any girl that you hook up with will like you forever. Yeah, no, there was a number condom. I had that shit. And I yeah. fucked. I told you this story. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where the, 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 the material's on the inside. But I opened up the jimmy and I didn't know which was in or out because it's dark. <laughs> yeah. So I rolled the shit on the wrong way. <laughs> and you can only just get it a little bit, right? <laughs> So then I had to take my fingers and flip it. So now I got the number shit all over my fingers. And I started touching her pussy. Now this girl's numb. I'm fucking numb. numb. It's just two dolls fucking. Your fingers are numb. Everything's numb, bro. She can't feel shit. I can't feel shit. Nobody enjoying this. <laughs> it was dark. We both fake nutted. We, we, we were like, ah. You couldn't see oh, anything. You have a fake nut? Yes. Oh yeah, I faked that a few times. You, sp you spit on their back, or you or you nut it in the condom? Nah, nut it in the condom. Just like, oh really? <laughs> Dude, I hit her. I hit her with one of these. Johnny Rocket. Yo, that's crazy. Nah, nah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> <Not nutted. laughs> but I have fake nutted. I have fake nutted. Yeah. Sometimes you got to because if you feel the dick getting soft, it's better to fake nut yep. than go soft in a girl. Yeah, yeah. Like that's too embarrassing. Yeah. Y'all, you don't even know what that is. No. Nope. And sometimes I was just tired. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we I'm doing? Tired. Like, I'm like, tired. But doing? you can't just call it off. You can't just, like, you know, eighth round. Be like, nah, hey. they, their fucking psyche is going to be broken. Yeah. But you've that. done that to a girl. Yeah. Already. If I wanted to break a fucking psyche, but <laughs> 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 that's what I actually like and want to preserve it. Did you give her a hug <laughs> after, like, after you told her to call it off? Like, did you feel bad? No, this is Al, dude. <laughs> I can see him being Most like, guys would be like, yo, this shit happens. I'll be like, this never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Did you take the wheels? You need to come quick, man. You start jerking off in front of her, like, hold on, I got this. I got it. <laughs> That's the worst. If you're like, yeah, just let me take care of this. <laughs> Has it happened to you, Dub? Oh, yeah. yeah. You ever get soft in a girl? With the condom on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I, I fake nutted. You, you did? Have the, yeah. Let's see your fake nut. You first. Nah, I asked you first. <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on. That's how you do it. <laughs> I went like this. I went like this when I think that it went. I like push out. She's on top, obviously. I pushed up and I went, ha! <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's karate. You got to do a karate movie. Yo, oh, hit, it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Let me see the face. Yeah, you got to do a, oh, my a couple of body jerks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice, dude. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, you gotta go. Go. <laughs> yeah, that's fire. That was convincing. That was fire. I thought you just came right. Son, son. I, thought you just came. <laughs> I thought you got turned on by me. <laughs> no, the silence is where it's at, yeah. dude. That, that was good. Oh, the silence. Yeah. You put the audible oh, sound shit. on the third side. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even believe it. Little stutter in the so, knees, yeah. and then you gotta, you gotta fall like, down to the oh, side. Oh shit! Like you gotta curse a little bit. Yeah. You gotta aim. Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! And turn yeah. your back to them so you oh, can take the fuck. condom on really yeah, quick yeah, and yeah. tie it up. Run so to they, the bathroom. Okay. Run to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh fuck! Oh <laughs> shit! We we teach it to people at home, man. Yeah, that's how you fake nut. Yeah, they need that. <laughs> All right, they, need that. they, they need really to do. Know this. They need to. Because sometimes yeah, these girls got gaping boxes. Yep. What? The? <laughs> what? Oh my god! Man, sometimes there ain't enough friction, bro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all wouldn't know, man. Y'all really wouldn't know. I wouldn't. But you, you know, I don't get why you can't just level with them. Just with like, all hey. due respect, no, I'm assuming both of your wives don't have gaping boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all due respect. With all due respect. <laughs> I think that's what they, they That's super respectful. They I got no have, issue with that. They, they don't, don't have respect. No, yeah. With all due respect, they yeah. don't have that's it. That's wild. They what? don't have that. What does it do? Well, what do you want me to say? The, the respect opposite. was due. You think they got no, some? No, don't say that. Don't no. say the opposite. I'm not going to say the opposite. I know they don't got some fucking planters down there. I know that. Exactly. You're not gonna put a ficus. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's no hemp. There's hedges. Good girls, there's you know, yeah, of course. Well, with, I, course. with all due respect, I think the, the same in your wife. Yo, you know it. <laughs> yeah, I think you yeah, yeah. know it. Disrespect your Come wife on. or Al's future wife Why like that. Wife? Al's future wife, <laughs> definitely. Yo, Al's future wife, you know I mean? I'm completely respected. Come on, man. Yo, they don't got boxes None like some of these. Wives, yo, do, these girls dove is be nothing Whoa. inside her. Bro, what? Why are you taking a shot of his hallways, bro? Crazy shit. No, yeah, he be fucking girls with vaulted ceilings. It's God damn. Like, they're women than bitches. <laughs> Yo, son, you you have sex with girls that are looser in their vaginas? <laughs> Not ideally, no. But does sometimes that happen? But it's happened. They're surprises sometimes, but no. And what does it feel like? Just fucking Timberland? <laughs> <laughs> You just go in there and it's like interstellar. There's just this void. Just <laughs> nothing on the other side of the wall. Dub, you need to find a wife, bro. Help! You need to find a wife. He wants it, bro. Because he's getting close he to that age it. where if you're still don't, single, people don't, don't think you're gay. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah. He is an interesting yeah. point. Nah, guy, guys get to a certain age. Yeah, if where you're if still you not, single. But he gets enough pussy where I don't think that that's going to be questioned. Conversation. But, yeah, but never oh, married. You uh, don't even have, like, divorce. Two times. Maybe get divorced. Your belt that could be good. Shit like that. Like, tea, yeah, time. Just, tea time. Tea time. Tea time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah just get Getting one divorce could be good for you. Yeah. But no, no. Just go on some lovely dates. Any, uh, I'm tired of the charade that he wants somebody long term. Yeah, he I don't does. Lying he to all of us. He's I lying to himself. You, he does. He's lying to himself. You never saw me in love. You never I saw, saw him in love. love. Oh God, I'm so tired of this fucking 23 year old love story. I know. <laughs> oh, when I was 17, I was so in love, and I haven't been able to recreate it with anyone. Well, let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you that story when I'm 60 if I don't find that again. This is this is a path, guys. But she wasn't Jewish, so you wouldn't have been able she's to be the, with her. She's the non-Jew that the family would have accepted. <laughs> Wow. That's so you sound like Al Bundy for sex. Yeah. The, <laughs> oh, my four, high school years. Yeah, the high school. <laughs> Through four, four touchdowns in one game. Damn, four. bro. What was your No, t- no, I've been in love a few times. Would you rather 100 bodies or zero bodies? If the number, it's like if you threw a number like 40, 50, 40, 40 or something like that, now you get into the ballpark. 100 is crazy. You're That's why it's a good them. hypothetical. She's 32, I imagine, in this hypothetical. And now change the number. It's 100 still? Son, he just said no to 32. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. No matter no, how the Leonardo age. DiCaprio of this podcast. Yeah. But come on. It's a lovely now. age. I'll say that. But, but, but you have to pick I, I would pick. He look at her like I had 100 Brent. bodies. No, no. Something's up. It's zero. I'm going on. Respect. Yeah. Yeah, right? Right? Yeah, you have okay, to pick another one. Okay, number. here's Al. You answer this one. Would you rather um, 50 black guys? <laughs> no, this or, one's fine. or 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 seventy five Asian dudes 
<laughs> yeah, have, I know have been with the girl. I know how he's You have age. to choose between two of them. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> <The> Asian. <Yeah. laughs> okay, now, now, what's, what's, now, now we have to adjust the numbers. This work gets really fun. Yeah. Okay. Like 300 Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Like in Sparta? Yeah. <laughs> What's the conversion rate? What's the number? So, 25 black guys. Okay. okay Jamaican and Nigerian. Okay. Oh, yeah. And whatever, whatever the other thing is, is yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just pick, like, come on, son. So, so 25 or 100 white guys. 100 whites. Wow. All right, all right. Change it up even more. Change Jesus. it up even more. Change it up even more. Seven black guys. Oh. But like big No, but which blacks? Because you were buried. <laughs> Son, a thousand anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Son, that's like going up after Chappelle. I'm good. <laughs> Fuck that shit. All right. On. <laughs> One Francis Ngannou. Okay. That I could maybe do. 50 Asian dudes. 50 Asian dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nah. So, so now y'all see yeah. why white people feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why? Because you feel that way. what you feel. Yeah, but y'all not Asian. <laughs> but we still afraid of black dick. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want black dick mucking about our women. <laughs> destroying everything. Ruining the neighborhood. Nah, but Omgato is crazy. Though. Yeah. Wow. I'm saying. That's crazy. That's mm -hmm. a scary man. And he's soft spoken while he fucking Yeah, girl. I know, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Got a lullaby voice. G give it a moment. <laughs> <laughs> give it a moment. The whole thing will Where be it truly. <laughs> A lovable origin story and shit. Oh, like, no. On, you can't even hate on them. Yeah. Uh, so isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. How do other ethnicities fit into the hiring? Okay. Okay. Ready? This is actually going. Okay. 45 Mexican dudes. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. All at once. They're hard workers. Though. They're hard <laughs> workers. They're going to put in work. They're going to eat pussy crazy. Yeah. 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 45 Mexican dudes. All in the same van. Pulling up. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right? They call your girl Home Depot. No, <laughs> now, that's chilling outside. That's what everybody calls your girl now. Homes, that's, Home Depot. Depot. <laughs> that's what everybody call your girl now. Home Depot. Yeah. Fuck great. Yo, y'all do some of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's up? Why is it always my girl? Yeah. Hey, what's going on here? Or, or, on. or, or, 15. Dagestan in an airport. Whoa. <laughs> 15 Damn. angry airport Dagestanis. <laughs> they think your girl's Jewish. No. 15 Dagestanis just in an airport the homeland. thinking your girl's Jewish. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Mexicans. <laughs> you, you have to, yeah, right? You have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you think Dagestanis are good lovers, though? I mean... I think they'll have you. I, they'll, you know, they'll have top positions. I think they definitely yeah. get top position whatever yeah. they want. And no stash, they probably eat box crazy. Oh, they are mucking. <laughs> yeah, they they, they built are for going munching. for it. Built for munching. And are they circumcised Russians? Have to be, right? Must Muzzy. be. Oh, Muzzy. Wow. Muzzy. Yeah, have to be. And it's Muzzy. cold. It's cold over there, bro. Right? They need it. Muzzy. Mm. Wow. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. That was crazy. That fucking airport shit was terrifying. Yeah, that was. Did you see the video of that? Yeah, yeah. That was wild. I like that the captain was like, "Please don't open the <laughs> open the door." And I was like, "Who's gonna open the door?" Bro? The captain was telling them not to open. Yeah, it. he yeah. was like, "Please don't open the door under any circumstances." I was like, bro. "Yeah, dude, it's the purge outside." <laughs> yeah. It literally looked it? like that. Yeah, yeah, that was wild. I mean, I mean there could have been a Dagestani on the plane, be like, "I'm pulling this slide." And Sleeper cell. Oh, yeah. he was inside the whole time. Why would he be in Tel Aviv? So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, there's this plane that flew, I guess, from Tel Aviv and it had to stop to get refueled, I think, in Dagestan. Mm -hmm. And then apparently the Dagestanis heard about it and they rushed to the airport. But like, chimp empire style. <laughs> like, this shit was crazy. Bro. Are you allowed yeah. to see that? Are you allowed to do I that? Think cause I they think because they're white. I think because they're yeah. white. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. But they were there and the TSA was like, I ain't fucking with these motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> and those guys are Dagestani too. Yeah, yeah, but they know, bro. That's how crazy they it is. They knew it, bro. It was it was absolutely not. Remember oh. UFC 294? Seven of them fought? Seven, seven victories. No. Bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they were in the homeland. They got charged up for their powers. You know but what do, what, do we know what happened to the Jews from the, from the plane? I heard no one was injured. Really? But I just don't know if an Didn't actual plane, plane yeah, like from Tel Aviv landed. No, special forces SWAT people came to... And you know. why did they land there? Yeah, they didn't think that through, it seems. And how did they know? There's a lot of things going on here that are peculiar. Yeah, who's following flight patterns? Like, that seems suspect. Mm-hmm. Right? 
Mm-hmm. Let's get into the conspiracy. Twist that, twist that stash, Mark. What do you think? That light on Mark. Talk to me, Mark. What do you think? Let's get that light going. I don't. Maybe that's Dagestan, though. Maybe there's not that much going on. And there's one WhatsApp group chat. And they're just watching flight patterns? And they're just watching anything that comes in. There's just nothing There's nothing else to watch. Eating bananas with their feet and watching <laughs> yeah. flight patterns. Wrestling bears, eating bananas. What else do they do over there? The only videos I see from Dagestan is them swimming in the cold water and then wrestling a bear. So it's not crazy. So if they hear a Jew's coming to town. Yeah, and they're going there to refuel. Bro. So what is the headline? You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> oh. What is the headline? I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it, dude. I'm not crazy in this time. I think what Mark is trying to imply <laughs> that they were gassing up the Jews Whoa, in Dagestan. Dude. I, I think oh, that's shit. what he's trying to imply. Okay. You took it too far, yeah. bro. I just think it seems like that's what you were I trying to I think they heard it and they tried to pile on. Oh. But that was a miscommunication from the newspaper, I think. Oh, my Lord. I'm not positive exactly what happened. Well, that should not happen. You mm -hmm. should stop doing that. I agree. They should stop doing that immediately. Mm -hmm. I think we could push back against that. I think yes, we yeah, have unilateral yeah. support. Yeah, mm -hmm. unilateral, nice. nice. Yeah, Did I use it. that word right? No, I think nice. so. I'm 40, bro. <laughs> I'm 40. I got vocabulary. You know what I mean? I'm 40, bro. I'm Uncle Schultz, man. I'm Uncle Schultz. Yeah. I'm 40. Yo, bro. people, this is what 40 This is 40, bro. This, is, this is what y'all got to look forward to. Yo, <laughs> if you're lucky, this is what you get. Do you remember when you, when you told the congresswoman where we were going later that night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the congresswoman came to the, to the dinner. Yeah. And um, I told her, I was like, yeah, if you guys want to come later, we're going to go to room 40. And she was like, what's that? I was like, room for these nuts. <laughs> what's up with that chicken parm? Y'all want to share some of that chicken parm? <laughs> bro, absolute haymaker landed. A member of the yeah. government, bro. It is what it is. I told her she got to get Bill Maher with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, she's going off down that whole side of the table, take it. Oh, they would die. Charlotte oh, yeah. was laughing. The second I said room 40, Charlotte just goes. <laughs> 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 he was falling apart. Bro, it's so funny that he just can't get it down. Like, bro, <laughs> every time is, he attempts it, it's so It is funny. the best. It is the best. Oh. And he has so much fun with it, too. Yeah. Yeah, we're just children at the end of the day. Shout out to Charlotte. He's on, uh, what is it, Daily, Daily Show? Show? Yo, Charlotte's yes, on Daily, Daily Show this week. Make sure you check out Charlamagne on Daily Show this week, man. The fucking legend is doing it. So yep, yep. go check that out. All right, guys, we take a break for a second. You already know what time it is. You see the lights. It's blue chew time. Same active ingredients that's inside Viagra, Cialis. But this is the chew. This is the one we're not going to backs out with, okay? And this is what you're going to do. There's a special girl in your life. Maybe she's already in your life. Maybe she will be in your life in a month. But what you need to do is provide the best dick possible you should do it now or 30 days from now but whenever you do it you start that train with the most cabins <laughs> yeah uh, yeah i think so train cars cars yeah train cars train cars with the most train cars in it okay <laughs> she's gonna be chasing that dick for the rest of your life but you start it at the top don't build your way up start at the top and then slowly fall off. That is the game, and I wish you all success with it. And you know what? You're gonna get your first month free with Blue Chew. BlueChew.com, use the promo code Flagrance. All you gotta do is spend $5 on shipping. $5 on shipping, and you get the first month free, best dick you've ever given in your life. You are welcome. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, let's take a break for a second, okay? Because look, getting wrongfully injured in a car accident sucks. You got medical bills, doctor visits, and you have to deal with some insurance companies. All of it is hard, but if God forbid you ever do get hurt, one easy thing you can do is check out Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers with over 15 billion dollars recovered for over 300,000 clients. Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Morgan & Morgan has been fighting for the people for over 35 years. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy, okay? It's like using an app. Getting wrongfully injured is hard. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan, quite possibly the easiest thing you are going to do to get what you deserve, okay? Okay. So if you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. Think about that. It is free unless they win for you. Okay. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash flagrant or dial pound law. That is pound five, two, nine from your cell phone. That's F O R the people.com slash flagrant or pound law pound five, two, nine from your cell. 
This is a paid advertisement. Uh, now let's get back to the show. We are back. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? What, what is this? I like oh, this is my costume. I have another costume. What is it? I'm, obviously, I'm a gardener. <laughs> this is for gardening. Mm -hmm. What is that for? That's a hoe, right? No. This is, well, this is a, uh, it's a smaller hoe. It's a little hoe. <laughs> low this hoe. is a little hoe. <laughs> yeah, a little hoe. Yeah, it's, Major uh, hoe. And then this right here is a uh, shovel. It's a hand shovel. And this is, you scratch the, the earth, and then this is, you shovel it up. Mm. Okay. That's how you garden. <laughs> nice. A little chickity dickity. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Why do you need three costumes? Yeah. I don't know. It's just Halloween. I'm, be, you know, celebrating. Being festive. Okay. I'm a festive guy. Do they have anything to do with each other? I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> Mark, I have no clue what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're trying to suggest. It's like there would be a link between all three of them. Me neither, dude. I'll be honest. I'm trying to figure it out right now. Can I take a guess? I mean, you can guess. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, go. Gardener. Gardeners yep. deal with roses. Oh. Roses have thorns. Oh, okay. Thorn. Sponge Bob. Bob Billy. Thorn. Billy Bob Thorn. Billy Bob Thorn. Billy oh, Bob Thorn. Whoa. Billy Mads and Bob Thorn. Whoa. Bryce, is that what you whoa. are? No, but that's one of those things where it's like you added meaning afterwards, and that meaning is fire. So, but no, that's not what it is, dude. I don't even oh, know what you're dude, talking about. That's what it was. That was fire. Thank I don't you. know why. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming there's a game with this. Wait, you got you think that the like the three costumes mean something together? Yes. I don't even know why you would go there with that. Probably reading way too much into this. <laughs> maybe, this. maybe he was just doing a little gardening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In between the break, you, know? <laughs> you do garden. Yeah, maybe. I think in the future I'd like to garden. What's on your gloves? Um, what the hell happened, bro? Well, you know, gardening's a, a contact sport, dude. Dressed like OJ? I think, <laughs> think, think that might be the situation right here. No, no, it gets a little wild out there. Oh, wow. Yeah. You need protection for your hands, especially when you're gardening. Mm -hmm. Respect. Anyway, I don't know why you guys don't do more costumes. You should take advantage of it, you know? <laughs> Come on. I mean, yeah, I was dressed you got up. it. I was yeah. dressed I'm like the before. He's after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We got one. Yeah. Act it out, Bala. <laughs> you guys are a couple's costume. Okay. Um, listen, what do we got? Do we got some feelings? No facts? No, 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 no. no. We got Francis the, Ngannou yeah, and fight, Tyson yo. Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, amazing. Shockingly an amazing fight. Amazing fight. High-level wow. boxing. Shout out to Francis. Unbelievable. I mean, what Rob. this guy did is, say again? Rob. You, okay, so let's go honest assessment of the scoring. What did you think it was if if... Just honest assessment. Yeah, and I said in the group chat, I thought it was 5-5. Five, five, and five. then with the knockdown. With the knockdown, I guess. That's it's valid. I had it 6-4. Tyson. Uh, Tyson. Or, yeah. And then with the knockdown, I had him winning by one point. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry. Who winning by one point? Tyson winning Tyson, by one point. Yeah. He I, won 6-4, and then he's a 10-8 because yeah. of the knockdown. Yeah. So I had him winning by one point. But I wouldn't have been mad at it the other way. I think that's kind of how I had it. Okay. So it's like, I think I had Tyson winning, but because... Francis was coming, you know, from such a deficit. The fact that he closed that gap is the victory. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I don't know if the decision is awful when you really think about it because people were a little bit, uh, you know, there wasn't unanimous support for one decision. There are people that thought Tyson won narrowly and there are yeah. people that thought Francis won narrowly and that's exactly what the scorecard showed, yeah. right? But um, the judge who had it, like, that was kind of so crazy. Far there was apart. one that had it far, right? Yeah. For Tyson, yeah, right? Like what the fuck for was Tyson. he watching? It was like 96, 93 or yeah, something 97, like that. Yeah, 97, 93, something yeah, crazy there's shit. there's no way. Like, there's how's no that way. even possible with a 10 yeah. I don't even know. But Francis, I think I, the most impressive thing with Francis was the IQ. Like, his boxing IQ was insane. <sighs> yeah. Like, he knew what Tyson was doing, and he was he had a plan of attack to mitigate it, and then after he did it, he was countering it. So that knockdown that he got, Tyson throws, Tyson has this great foot movement, great head movement, strong jab, but his main attack is a one-two. Mm -hmm. he, he does a lot of pump fakes to get you off your rhythm, and then he sets you up, and then one-two. Sometimes he'll come in with a hook. Francis was waiting for the one-two, and then trying to counter with that big hook. Landed it, dropped him. And an interesting, interesting thing happened, Francis realized that Tyson couldn't hurt him. He could walk through anything Tyson could throw. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is who I think is the greatest heavyweight of all time. Mm -hmm. I've said on this podcast, Tyson Fury is the greatest heavyweight of all time. So Francis went up against the greatest heavyweight of all time mm -hmm. and almost beat him. And if there's a rematch, if Francis knows he can't get hurt, he was walking through punches, walking through elbows. Yep. Yeah, the elbow was crazy. 
Go like this, go like this. You got a little yeah, boogie. Damn, bro. Still, uh, bro I tried to do it before the it? break. No, can you just look in your phone? No. Oh, gosh. You got bro. it. Done. There. So it's like he's throwing serious shit and Francis is walking through it. And then Tyson knows he cannot walk through Francis's shit. Yeah. Yeah, he got got. Dude. And once that dynamic happens in a fight, now it's up to Tyson to really outbox him. You got to move back. You got to stick that jab and you got to score points. You know you can't knock him down. That's what I thought he did. He just scored points. Exactly. Cause, but think about that. He's going in there going, I'm going to teach this guy a lesson. I'm going to spark him. He literally says when he starts the first round, he goes, welcome to class. And yeah. then when Francis knocks him down, he goes, what happened, professor? Uh, <laughs> right? I mean, amazing. Uh, and there was a moment, I think, where Francis starts to realize, oh, shit, this isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I'm going to be all right. Now, to be fair, Tyson came in sloppy. It looks like he barely even had a camp. He had no strategy whatsoever. I don't even think he took the thing seriously. Um, no. No, it's not worth making the, the what's it called, creating the caveat for yeah. him, of course. And, and also, like, you're getting paid so much money from Saudi Arabia. Like, they're probably overpaying so much to hold the fight there. You show up in shape. Yeah. You show up ready. And you put on a fucking show. Like, it's, if I'm Saudi Arabia, I mean, you had this amazing fight, but I'm also like, hey, dude. Yeah. I, I don't care if you don't respect your opponent. Yeah. I'm paying you crazy. I'm paying, you respect the pay I'm giving you. Exactly. You respect the payday. Because you're not just doing a pay-per-view. Yeah. They're overpaying. So the fight is there. Yeah. So it's like. So the amount of money they must have paid, like. You Bro. know they flew all those celebrities out there. So I don't they, think a oh, yeah. single they celebrity paid all these to champions be. waiting in the hallway just to give a dap to Tyson on his way to the ring. Did you see that? No, the amount of I people. didn't notice that. The amount of people Bro. was insane. Yeah. It was like you Mike know Vander Tyson. Holyfield can't afford his own ticket out of Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> but like Tyson, Conor McGregor, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Crazy. Like, Everybody. Just those three. Is like, Oscar what? De La Hoya, Larry yeah. Holmes. I, I don't mean, think we've seen that since Mike Tyson. Like where Whereas every fighter every, came out, yeah. Marco and Tony, they had every champion in the last like 40 years there yeah. from all these different weight divisions. It was unbelievable. And, um, I mean, they must've lost in crazy money doing it. Yeah, right? But imagine, but what, what did they really win? Yeah. Like now we're looking at this as a destination. Yeah. Even the show that they put on, like, I don't give a fuck for music before sporting events, but I'm looking at, I'm like, this is a hell of a fucking show. Mm. Like these people are out here. I think the perception of Saudi Arabia from the West is, uh, sand, oil, <laughs> yeah, black cube. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now I think through the whatever sports washing or and these other things they're doing, I think and they're building these nice hotels and stuff. I think we're starting to go. Oh, is this another version of Dubai? Yeah. Is this another version of the Emirates? Oh wow. And they got enough money to fly every single person out there. Oh, they got some bougie shit going on here and entertainment that I'd be into. Sports washing works, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's giving them credit for a brilliant idea, really. It's yeah. not even Great marketing. See, they're, they're, every state in America want a sports team. That's true. They're trying to wash their state. I feel, you know, I, I always thought Kansas City was just like booming Metroplex because I grew up watching football. Then I go there. I'm like, it's a country ass town. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the football team, they sports washed it into me thinking. That's this what is North Korea needs, bro. They need Chernobyl. Yes. Chernobyl needs a football team. Oh, or something. Dude, dude. Bro. You can just the Chernobyl isotopes, bro. Imagine, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah but it's awesome. So, yeah, so it was just, uh, I mean, the winner in this fight is, like, I think they need to fight again, and Tyson needs to prove that he wasn't prepared for it, and he needs to dominate him, because it's a little bit of a knock on his legacy. Uh, again, I'm I was going to ask you, do you still think he's the greatest heavyweight of all time? I think he's the greatest of all time, but it is a knock on his legacy, and what I would rather do is give Francis credit for his greatness than take away Tyson's. Because if I go, he was never that good, that's an insult to Francis. I'd rather go, this is the greatest guy, and it just so happens this Francis Ngannou guy that absolutely dominated the UFC is so fucking talented that he could dominate in boxing too. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, if we cut that's the lip. Impressive, yo. Your first boxing match. Oh, it was insane. Like, it was that's insane. Your first boxing Great. match is against the greatest boxer in history. Yeah, and imagine. you potentially outbox him. Yeah. You but knock him down once, you, but it's not that's like he's just cool. going and throwing haymakers. He made Tyson afraid to throw. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, Tyson's the greatest boxer of all time. He's not just a guy like Deontay Wilder who's got the nuclear fucking punch. He sits you down, it's over. He will outbox anybody. And you were right in front of him, and he was afraid to throw. Mm -hmm. Now, in fairness to Francis, wasn't he a boxer before UFC? I mean, like, in the, in the way that you learn boxing as one of the disciplines before you get into MMA. Mm -hmm. He had a little background in it. He has the it's background like, that I have. 
It's like LeBron <laughs> played football in high school. Yeah. And then you just go become a basketball player. Right. And to that end, I don't know how you can, and I, I love both of them, but I don't know how you can not take some credit away from Tyson. Because if Tom Brady, the greatest football player of all time, played LeBron one-on-one and lost 11-9, I'd be like, yeah, I, I, I'm judging LeBron a little bit. Like, that shouldn't happen. I'd I don't go, care how good, good Tom Brady is at basketball. I'm judging you. 100%. Right. 100%. And I think that we try to justify it by going, oh, Tom wasn't taking it that seriously. Or LeBron went to, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. LeBron wasn't taking it that seriously. Where in this circumstance, I'm like, this ain't this boxing. It ain't basketball. Like, you got to take this you're shit seriously. You're getting punched in the head. You get knocked the fuck out. Yeah. So it's like, I know you were taking it seriously because you got dropped. Yeah. Yeah, I see guess what I'm in my brain, the prep, you didn't take seriously. For, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where you come in slop. Sure, but at the same time, it's like you've been preparing since you were five years old. Like Tyson doing 12 rounds, he can do with no training camp. He's been boxing so long. Yeah, you long. definitely give credit to Francis for sure. I just think you also have to. I, to me, it's like I can't not look at. I can't look at Tyson as the greatest right now. Mm-hmm. If they run him back and then he admits no problem, then it's like, all right, fine, this is all forgotten. But right yeah. now, I'm looking at Francis, super impressed. Yeah. But I am also looking at Tyson like, eh, really? Yeah. Greatest heavyweight of all time? That's what the, my friend who knows boxing always says. But I'm yeah. looking at it. As a guy who doesn't watch a ton, me, I'm like, I don't know, man. That seems crazy. I mean, there's only one person that I think could potentially beat him that has a chance, and it's Lennox Lewis, mm-hmm. because you need someone with the size. Mm-hmm. I mean, Tyson's 5'9". Mike Tyson at 5'10". Sorry, Tyson is 6'9". Oh, yeah. Mike Tyson at 5'10". He can't. Yeah. The arms won't even re- It's It just can't. It's too much. 6'9", can move, jab, throw punches, balance amazing. What do you think of Francis doing other boxing matches? I mean, go for the money. I, to, what right? I want is yeah. the UFC to re-sign him and then give him the bag. Kind of. And then to. just be like, and I want him, no, no, and give him the bag, give him, the, the problem is they're not going to give him the bag and the freedom because then they'll have to do that with all the other fighters. Yeah. But I want him to go back and get the bag and because then the UFC has the baddest man on the planet. The baddest man on the planet we know right now yeah. is named Francis, Francis Ngannou. Yep. And that's no knock on John Jones, but John Jones just tore his pec. He's out of the fight. Um, I'm also looking at this like if I'm John Jones, I don't want to fight Stipe. If I want to go down as the baddest man ever, which that's what everybody thought John Jones was before this fight, I got to fight that Francis Ngannou dude. And let me tell you something. If Francis Ngannou can maintain distance between 6'9 Tyson Fury and himself, I don't care who anybody else is. You are not taking it lightly coming in for a shot on Francis. Mm. Mm. Well, John Jones out wrestling him? Sure, his discipline is better. But did you see the way that Francis was throwing Tyson Fury around the ring in the clinch? Mm. Tyson never felt that in his life. Every boxing match Tyson ever. He looked a little surprised. He was like, what the fuck? (laughs) Anytime they clinch up, usually what Tyson can do in a clinch, he's so big and so strong, he can just be imposing and lay on the guy and put a lot of fucking Francis was yanking him up, throwing him around, doing whatever he wanted. Yeah. And shout out to Francis conditioning. Like, oh, I phenomenal. thought he was winded earlier, and then, phenomenal. yo, he was still Came fighting. back, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah. by like the fifth round, I was like, okay, I think Tyson got it now, and he's going to win every round. Yeah. And then it was like the eighth round where Francis was like, just going. Yeah, and I was like, was wow, like, this I did not expect. Yeah. yeah. What about Deontay Wilder, Francis? I think it'd be an amazing fight, and everybody would watch it. Francis injects interest and, and excitement into the heavyweight division. Mm-hmm. Tyson had dominated so much that people stopped caring. And now every fighter, Anthony Joshua, Francis Ngannou, would be huge. I would love to see that. Do you think that matchup would be more equal in a way, like Deontay and uh, Francis just because of power? (sighs) Yeah, but here's the thing. If Francis boxes as well, here's the thing. If Tyson couldn't hurt Francis, yeah. Deontay is going to test that chip. That's where I'm like, Wilder's knockouts are so savage, I'm like, that's hard to watch. and, And Tyson landed. So that's my point. Like Tyson is a better boxer, but Deontay might be a harder opponent. That's the thing, and you're 100% right there. Because Tyson did land, Francis could walk through it. And that's a problem. I don't think you can walk through Deontay. I don't think there's a human on this planet that can walk through Deontay. Mm-hmm. So Tyson might be a better fight for Francis. Right. Anthony Joshua has a lot of pop. Maybe that's a tougher fight. But this specific one, where it was a guy whose power wasn't so dominant that he can't walk through it, and his power is really effective, 
It might have been the perfect one. But it, he still inject. He has one more massive boxing fight if he wants. He has two more. He has a rematch with Tyson whenever you want, and we're all buying that in a yeah. fucking heartbeat. If I'm him, I actually wait for that. Mm -hmm. I go, fuck the, I go, I tell uh, Tyson to say, fuck the, uh, the Usyk fight. Hold off on the Usyk fight. Let's do another fight for your belt. <sighs> that's, yeah. Yeah. That, I, that's the fight I want to see. That is the fight I want to see. I want to see that rematch. Yeah, because that's think, what we I all want to see. Yeah. I would love to see him fight Joshua too. I Joshua think. Deontay Wilder, I think, would be the biggest money fight because yeah, I'd, I'd worry for power Francis. versus power. It's like, power, yeah. and they're gonna land, yeah. and Deontay's gonna throw. God damn, and it's gonna be mayhem. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be absolute mayhem. Yeah, but yeah, like heavyweight boxing to yeah, be this those excited. Two one against each other. Who are you putting your money on? <sighs> Francis or Deontay? Yeah. I'd say Wilder. Got, yeah, just based off of. In terms of winning, probably Deontay. Really? But I think, yeah, I think Francis. After yeah. what I saw from Francis, I think I go it's Francis. Hard. Dude, it's hard. He was boxing. He was, he was boxing, boxing and he was defending and he saw the things coming. Also, like, Tyson is way more difficult to prepare for than Deontay. Deontay, you're watching one hand the whole fight. Mm. Mm. Tyson, you got to watch everything, movement, feints, the whole thing. So with a guy whose IQ is as impressive as Francis is, maybe he'll develop a game plan where he can, you know, handle that power. Mm. And also, that's the thing with Francis. It's like he's felt. I'm not saying MMA guys, MMA punchers punch as hard as boxers. Clearly, they don't. But he's had four ounce gloves hit him in the face as hard as possible. Yeah. The guys who have like boxing backgrounds, like Stipe, I think was a Golden Gloves. Like he's boxed, and he walked through it. Mm. Once you walk through four ounces, you put them pillows on your hands. It's crazy. I thought the fight was going to have four-ounce gloves. That's what they initially were saying. Yeah, oh, yeah, you remember and that? And when that didn't happen, I was like, well, this isn't even going to be fun. But if it if there's four-ounce gloves, Francis wins that fight in the third round. It's over. Oh, God. I Hits mean, him inside the of the head with four-ounce gloves, it's over. Yeah, yeah, Tyson's out. Yeah. Most shocking result any of us <laughs> ever saw. And to be honest, I think he won the fight. When that happened, I think we're all like, oh, he won. Whatever yeah. happened. He doesn't have to win to win. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's the beauty of, I think MMA has injected that into us where it's just like sometimes you can win through losing mm -hmm. or tying mm -hmm. yeah. you know it's Franz is just an insane human also what just a like, fucking story bro. I mean unbelievable it, it, this is kind of a sad thought but I was like man are there other Francis's that just couldn't make it here right couldn't make it to the thing like you are the goat there are these, and we like to think most of them make it through, but maybe not, dude, because Francis overcame everything to get here, and he might be the greatest fighter, period, of all time. Maybe. Bro. I don't know fighting, but if you can box like that, do UFC like that, like, he might be the greatest fighter ever, period. Yeah. So there's probably other Francis, just we never saw. They're working on a movie right now. They must, right? I mean. Fuck a movie. I want a video game, bro. I want to play his life on Xbox. Like, you, literally, you start as a kid, fucking do the <laughs> mining crazy. shit, yeah. get on a boat, make to America, fight a little bit. The Last of Us. And bro, this is my family. He's yeah. Last of Us, but real life. Bro. Yeah. yeah. You think with Francis, as long as it's not a hypothetical, but him fucking fuck him. <laughs> 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 That's the only thing I don't fuck. I How do you look at Francis and you're like, yo, you might have to fuck Francis, bro. I get it. I get it, dude. I get it. That's it. All right, so listen, uh, while we're talking about some sports, it's time to get them prize picks in, them Akash locks. I actually heard the Akash locks came through. Yo, I, I won last possible. week. And then this week, I did a, this is what's cool about prize picks. I did a six-leg six pick yeah. during the second half. You can do second half picks. Yeah, yeah. So I did six legs while I was li live streaming the Cowboy game, and I only got four of them. Still made money. Prize picks still paid me, even though two missed, which no other, nobody else to do that. Normally, yeah. Yeah. you pick mad shit, you lose. And that's it. That's it. You're yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit you with some NBA picks right now. Okay, though. let me. They hear got it. Yusuf Nurkic. Mm -hmm. He plays for Phoenix. Seven and a half rebounds. I got him doing more. Okay. I think he get more rebounds than that. And then Donovan Mitchell, five rebounds against the Knicks. Because it's the Knicks, I think there's gonna be a lot of missed shots. I'm gonna go more <laughs> there also. So I'm doing more and more on this one. Let me know how it works out for you. Prize picks. Also use the promo code Schultz. You'll get your initial deposit matched up to $100. I mean, That's you put right. in 100 you get 100 for free. So you might as well just do it. Respect. Shout out prize picks, man. Uh, all right, let's do some feels on facts, Mark. Okay. What is the, what's the prize pick on a former NBA player, Joe Smith? <laughs> Bro, legendary promo for OnlyFans. Yeah. Truly. <laughs> legendary. So I think his wife has been a porn star. And, and she goes, uh, you know, my husband found out that I have an OnlyFans and he's upset. And then he's in the background getting all upset. But it is a great way to, yes. excuse me, promote her OnlyFans. Yes. I'm so fucking gullible. You fell for it. Yeah, I did. Did because you look it up? He, 
Nah, I didn't. But she said she used to do porn and she hasn't since they've been married. And it really just looks like they having money issues. And she's like, yeah, I got to do what I got to do. Yeah, how much did he make in the NBA? Bro, that's what I wanted to see his career. That's the I crazy think he thing. Made good money. This is the most disrespectful thing about this article I'm reading. Literally, the opening line: Joe Smith, comma, who made sixty-one million dollars during his time in the NBA, was in limited the nineties, bro. In the nineties and early 2000s, 61 million in it, today's dollars is like uh, two hundred million, probably. Yeah, but if you live in that life, you could go through that. Uh, you got to have a gambling addiction. Yeah, I mean, like you got to try to spend sixty-one million. You yeah. could do it. But it takes work. Like gambling or like vacations, like uh, spending $61 million and having no assets left is fucking hard to yeah. do without gambling. And again, $61 million then is like probably probably like $200 million now. Even if you buy a car, even if it's half the value, you still get half back. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You like have you, $31 million. Exactly. Yeah. If you bought 61 million cars, you have $31 million. <laughs> So <laughs> maybe he's a Bitcoin speculator. Have you looked into that? Have you seen his portfolio? No, I just look at no. his Bitcoin speculation. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys in the same group chat? You, got, you might have like a little I'm WhatsApp. I'm thinking about starting OnlyFans, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Get my titties out there. <laughs> I mean, it is crazy, though. That like, if he didn't know, there's no way that this guy's going years without knowing what his wife is doing, right? No, they know. It's all fucking put together 100%. Yeah, at first my thought was, I didn't watch the video, but I was like, oh, there's no, yeah, this... It, this is crazy, his wife, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, oh, they probably are in on this together. Because mm. it's just like him reacting in the background and you putting that online. It's just like, I don't know. It all Great seems promo. To, yeah. I want to see how well it's, it's doing. Matter of fact, we should check in on it. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we got? What do you think about this uh, Kai Sinat uh, jail stream? Have you seen clips from it? Really? So I've never watched like a stream live, but I, I don't know. I'm probably like most people. I've watched tons of clips yeah. from it. Like, it's amazing. Like, God bless the people that are clipping out these streams. Because yeah, yeah. they have to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> and they have to watch it and edit it down to the fun shit for us to enjoy. Yeah. And um, I think Kai has been really transformative with the streaming really where is. he, like, creates games out of it. Mm -hmm. And, like, I've seen certain people travel and certain people do these things. And then everybody kind of repeats the same thing. You know, it's like, I'm going to go to Japan. It's like, okay, well, now I'll go to Japan. And then everybody goes to Japan and then blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no real, nothing really unique. But, like, at least this scenario he's creating is truly unique within the streaming space. He's yeah. creating a game out of it. Yes. And uh, this guy's he's, great, man. he's reaping the rewards. It's it's a really smart way of going about content. But yeah. Free Kai, man. Hold your head, bro. <laughs> you hold it down, bro. <laughs> so what's the deal? Is this a set or did they rent out an old jail? I think they got an old prison. Oh, that's what it is. It okay. looks yeah. like an old prison, or they got a movie set that was used. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, they, I'm sure LA has a prison set yeah. that is built in the exact same, you know, structures or whatever, like a prison to shoot all their shows. Like, where did where was Oz shot? Yeah. You know, where was Shawshank shot? Yeah. All probably there. But um, it's great. And then in, in, like injecting all of the different famous people as well yeah. into it. Bro, he yeah. makes prison look way too fun, though. That's, that's the problem. That's kind of what prison is, bro. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> yeah. I think I've that's heard, what I've it is. It's a oh, fun kind. Dude, I talked to a guy on my pod a week ago that said, if I could get laid in prison, I'd be there for the rest of my life. V quote, verbatim. He's like, everything's awesome. You hang with your boys, low security. Like, it's just like playing cards all day. It's like the only thing is female contact. It's, like, it's the only thing you yeah. miss. Yeah, there's no responsibility. Completely remove the anxiety of uh, personal accountability. Yeah. I bet if you gave them female contact, things would be way more relaxed. Maybe. A lot more, a lot less violence in the prison. You gotta oh, milk yeah. them. Maybe you just milk them. Yeah. Oh, you like line them up. You line them up. Assembly line. Exactly. Yeah. AI, AI, I'm down for that usage of AI. Yeah. Just yeah. fucking hand jobs for prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> just mouth drain jobs, them up. Fake yeah. body parts. But then what do you yeah. do with all of it? <sighs> like all the samples. That's actually a good point because you don't want to put it back out there in the world because then you're just making more felons. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Yeah, what do you do with it? Protein shakes or something? I guess you could. I guess you could put it back in a diet. <laughs> Maybe you can feed it to pigs or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Don't they eat like weird stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet yeah, if you put it in the soil, you grow a porns. motherfucking beanstalk. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know the porns where it's like crazy loads of cum and shit like uh, that? You know, repurpose it. Oh, oh use it as like yeah, a prop, yeah, yeah, prop yeah, cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be prop cum. Or an OnlyFans thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that actually would be kind of fun. But I fucks with. I, I like it, man. I like it. What's the feedback been with it? Positive? Have there, positive. Have there been haters? I mean, always. Some people saying this is, uh, you know, the Stanford Prison Experiments. They're like, this could go that way, whatever. Yeah. This glorifies negative stereotypes, blah blah blah. But the guy's making content. He's not trying to change the world. Yeah. Yeah, I mean? yeah that's an unfair expectation. Yeah. 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 You see, DeSantis get dragged for wearing lifts. 
Bro, this picture is so funny. DeSantis 2024. Yeah, bro. I was just going to say. How Can I you say something? Al, what were you wearing yesterday? Because you were 6'4 yesterday. <laughs> nah, same. Just a, Stop it, bro. I was just standing up straight because I had a it, tight bro. shirt on, so I can't slouch. So I usually slouch. But Al, if I have a tight shirt on, I Al, stand up straight. You were 6'4 yesterday. Swear to God, it was these same exact shoes, bro. You must have had something in them as no, well. No, I swear to God. Al, you, you were 6'4 I yesterday. was just standing up straight, nigga. No. <laughs> like, that's it. Damn, bro. Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. That was nah. a little crazy, bro. Yeah, you, you <laughs> I feel like I'm bro. tapping into something right you now. Dude. But nah, these? I was, that's it. If I stand up straight, it gives me an extra inch. I don't think oh, that's just that's, boots, yo. Come on. He's just trying to get the I mean, Texas vote. No, there's another one that's more incriminating. Where they draw it out. Uh, it's a different way. He's sitting down. That one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little dark, though. That's the only thing. Uh, fuck. It's a little sketchy, nah, bro. Yeah, bro. you need it to be lighter, Come but on. it is bad. Uh -uh. It's a little sketchy. There's a diagram right here. Nah, let that man live, bro. Is that false advertising? What do you think? I mean... Have you seen him walk? They're politicians. He walks onto the Bill Maher show, and it's very interesting. No. It's a little wobbly. Let me see. All right, I'm going to pull it up. I mean, he was a fighter pilot, right? Uh, I think that's what oh, he did. No, I think he did Guantanamo stuff. Uh, I would look into seeing that. I, th I thought he was a fighter pilot. Lost my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it rough for me. Hold on. No, nah, but. Because if he's a fighter pilot, pilot he's short. Fly. Why, they're all short? You, you have to be to fit in the cockpit. Oh, it's a, really? It's a small thing. Oh, so you calling Tom Cruise short, bro? Yo, son. He gonna get don't you. Don't disrespect bro. my God. Yeah, just say you that. You Yo, said it. Dis peace you be upon said him. it. Peace be upon him. <laughs> yeah. Yo, <laughs> peace be upon Maverick, bro. Oh, all due respect. All yeah, respect. with all due respect. That's man. short fuck. This is a little <laughs> this is a little suspect, dude. Can we get a can we get the I didn't see nothing? I want to be on board, wall. but it don't Can we get the, see the, the, the the hue or the brightness? Yeah, I don't know why it got so dark all of a sudden, bro. Come on, man. We gotta fix that. But apparently, Bill Maher holding strong in that hairline, bro. That hairline hasn't budged. Mm -mm. Did he pivot right? He's just, I think he's more central. My long, like, distant view or whatever, it seemed like he always hated religion, but liberals thought he was only talking about white religions, mm -hmm. and they were like, yeah, that's our guy. And then he was like, no, all religions. I don't like Islam either. And then, then they were liberals like, were like, whoa, Whoa, fuck you. You're a hate monger. Oh. You're not who I thought you were. And then I asked a liberal about that. And he was like, well, I just th don't think you should punch it down, which I thought was the most racist thing you could possibly say. <laughs> which is like, well, the Muslims are beneath us. You can't hit them. Yeah. So, I thought back in the day, he used to be like far left. He was right? like, like smoke, super liberal. Back in the day, that was like, I smoke weed and it should be legalized. Being gay is OK. That should be legalized. They should get married. And uh, Christianity is dumb. That that was like liberal. you're a liberal, yeah. and now being left has shifted more into the gender politics, mm. and I think that he's rejecting gender politics and then like wokeism. So like you can't make offensive jokes, or we have to be really uh, sensitive about everything. And I think that shift he's pushed back on. There's like a, uh, it's really funny when we were in the Netherlands. I think we spoke about this on the pod, but like. The Netherlands, they don't have any, like, uh, uh, religion doesn't play any role in the laws that they create, yeah. mm -hmm. right? We spoke yeah, about yeah. this, right? Yeah. And, um, and because of that, they can choose the lesser of two evils, right? Like, they can decide both of these things are wrong, but uh, we'll choose this lesser wrong thing. For example, making prostitution, e e uh, prostitution legal because that stops human sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. So, like, this will be wrong but it's less wrong than this other thing. Mm -hmm. And then we'll create laws around it. And they're really struggling right now when it comes to woke shit and gender identity politics. They were the most progressive. Hmm. They were like, the, back in the day, there's this massive gay parade that the whole city comes out for, the whole town, everybody celebrates it. Because in their very literal mind, they're just going, well, like, well, yeah, if you're gay and you like someone else, that's not hurting anybody. There's no net negative on society. Like, yeah, it's, it's legal. Let's make it legal. That that that's fine. There's, and there's no God telling me that this is wrong. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going off of the Carfax, and the Carfax is this doesn't hurt anybody. Everything's fine. And now they're grappling with 70 different genders, and they're like, but this doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah so yeah. they've went from the most progressive to seemingly conservative about certain issues, mm -hmm. but they were never progressive. They were just 
mathematical. Mm. Just practical. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just, they pure did logic. It. it was pure logic and they didn't have a religious influence on the laws. Yeah. So it's, I think they're having a little identity crisis because they're like, wait, I thought we were the progressives and we're so forward thinking and we're the most profound and advanced culture in Europe and now we're getting looked at as bigots because we don't believe in 70 different genders. It's kind of interesting mm. how like, yeah, gender politics can expose what the real motivation for your laws is. Mm -hmm. And theirs was never, let's accept everybody. Theirs were like, this makes logical sense. Yeah. yeah. I still like that better. I think, and I think that's probably where most people are with it, if I'm being honest. Like, I think most of us are like, yeah, if you're not hurting anybody else, yeah, do your thing. Do your thing. And as long as it's logical. It makes complete sense that some people are attracted to the same sex. Like, that's not a yeah. crazy thing to me. But when I'm taught my whole life, there's only two genders, and now three, okay, cool. When you get to, I think there's like 108 is the most recent list I looked at. It's like, well, now I'm not, I'm a little confused. Yeah. It still ain't hurt nobody, do you think? If you want to be an well, octopus, be an octopus. Yes, until you get into like the reassignment surgery when they're younger, and that's where things start to kind of spiral. Like putting them on puberty block, puberty blockers, or hormone blockers. Hormone blockers, I think. And I think that's where people can potentially get hurt. And I think that's where, if you're a very literal state like the Netherlands, you're going, okay, I think this could potentially hurt somebody. So we have to legislate around it. Mm -hmm. It also seems like parents are just afraid of like the social contagion. Like, is this something that my kid would want to be interested in? Yeah. Even if they're not. Yeah. Which I don't know if that fear is founded. I don't know if there is like a social contagion. Well, so they're worried about them doing shit to their genitals when they're young, but they can snip their dick off when they're a baby and they don't care. They don't get a say in that. Now we talking. See? Now we talking. Oh, but I agree with you. Yeah. I think we should stop snip slips. Yeah. I think I think that that's a, I think there's a very compelling argument for that. And you can get yours restored. There is a, there's foreskin, uh, like oh. res restoration surgeries. You can what? Get. Yep. Can you pick the code? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, you might want two-tone? Yeah, might have a little frost tone. You, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you go ice the tips? Yeah, yeah. why not? you see that, that episode of How To with John Wilson? No. At the end of one of the episodes, he's uh, the episode ends with him talking to a guy who is like big on getting your foreskin back and lengthening it, and he sells his product where you can clip it on your foreskin and it, it puts weight on it. So it brings it back down. And then the end of that, that episode is just nuts jump scare to a man with a device on his penis that is just insane. It's a great, you be wild watch, You be watches. Shit. Bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, bro. you can get it right here, bro. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not, go, not that. dude. Not that. What? You can get it All back. All right, guy. Dude. Next topic. Restore next your topic. penis. Next topic. Come on, if you're about that life, restore Next it. topic. Uh, I'm good. Oh, oh, you're just joking all of a sudden? Come on, dude. Get that's, the skins back. Next topic. Guess. Stop clipping our boys, Yo, come dude. on. Get that shit off the screen. <laughs> all right. Bro. Famous uh, streamer, and I believe, uh, I think she's just a streamer. I don't know if she has OnlyFans. She's a streamer that's basically, her name's Amaranth. She's the one that sold the the, the tub water. Mm. You remember this? Mm, vaguely. She was like, like took a bath and then started selling the bathtub water like by the cup and sold out, made millions of dollars selling bathtub water. Okay. She just created a, a, a beverage, Please. a beer made out of her vaginal yeast. I'll try it. <laughs> okay, that was too quick. These women are. You don't even want to see it? You don't oh, even I'd like to see what she looks like. Yeah, I, I don't know if you know what you signed up for, dude. Well, let me see it. Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So apparently... The, Wait, the, is that cheating? Eating another girl's pussy? Well, that's, well, that's not what we said. But you're drinking another drinking girl's pussy. Well, drinking a beer with the boys. No, you're sharing a girl's pussy with the boys. Because that is her pussy yeast. Also, how, wait, is that, are women supposed to have that? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought, thought that's that was bad. a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like an infection if you have yeast. I guess, I think you have a little. So she has to cook up an infection? Is it, are you supposed to have a little bit, Miles? Yeah, I think you're supposed to have yeast. Just a regular amount. Yeah, and then when it's infected, that's a yeast infection. But you have it there all the time. But if you have too much yeast, then it's bad. I thought a yeast infection is Miles an infection is of yeast. Expert. <laughs> yeah. 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 How, How much yeast she I'm got, yo? Yeah. I, don't want, to... I don't think a girl should have yeast in her pussy, dude. That's disgusting. Yeah. I think you do. I think they do. I'm about to look it up. Ugh. Ugh. But is that cheating? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. 
Your, I don't think Your so. vagina naturally contains a balanced mix of yeast, including candida and bacteria. So why do they want us eating that shit? <laughs> right? We don't got Probiotics, no fucking right? yeast good in our Good for the dicks. immune system. I guess. It's good for digestion. Yeah, but put some turmeric in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no fucking yeast and bacteria and whatever else you said, candida. Yeah, but yogurt has that. You eat yogurt. I don't. For that reason? Yeah, that shit is whack. <laughs> Y'all eat yogurt? Sometimes. Yogurt's yeah, good. Yeah, I do. Gogurt's, Gogurt's good. Yogurt's good. I don't do it. Flavored yeah. yogurt, fantastic. Also, y'all gotta stop eating Gogurt, bro. Why? That's how it Gogurt's starts. Just, just, yeah. Gogurt yeah. sucks. Yogurt is that. how it starts. I said, no, I said yogurt. I said to him, Gogurt is nah. sucks. No, I said Gogurt. I enjoy Gogurt. Yeah, so I don't. It's just too, it's, come on, Gogurt. Come on, no just children? Do just do yeah. that real quick. Just squeeze a Gogurt in your mouth. Panama. How is it gay? I mean, Come it's on. not gay. I, I but only it's, eat two at a time. It starts. <laughs> I only eat two gourds at a time. Like dude. that? Yeah, and I go like that, dude. I just fucking suck them down. Y'all gotta chill with honestly yogurt in general, bro. That's a big issue. It's a, that's affecting a lot. What about of, a Danimal? Danimal's nice. What is that? Never had a Danimal. It's a is a delicious yogurt drink. Yeah. So it's like no. a, it's like <laughs> a really yogurt. did get out that. It's like a yogurt, but it's like a little more liquidy, and it's in a small, tiny bottle, and it only refills you with like a little bit. Oh, it's the small. That seems so there's all I know of it is Danin and the. Kanye and what these colleges? What are you talking about? <laughs> Can you fit this dick in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> I'm get, I almost said what, but you, you beat me to it. <laughs> I'm going to give you a Gogurt in your sleep. Don't fall asleep around me. Nah, bro. You got to be sucking a I'm Gogurt. I'm telling you, I mean that for real. Yogurt is a real problem with young males. It's a gateway to gay? It's not gay. It's a gateway. But it does feminize you. I think it's really the cause of trans. <laughs> that's, the, that's the pipeline? I'm being dead serious, bro. <laughs> yeah. It has a lot of estrogen in it. Is that true? I don't think Look so. Look up the amount of estrogen in yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going, boy. <laughs> Do the pass out there. Soy milk and yogurt are excellent foods high in estrogen. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, y'all knew it. When you eat it, you don't feel like a man. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yogurt is, is so true. fucking yeah, feminine, that bro. That's true. That's why you go do Gogurt is less gay. That's no, that's less gay. It's, it what ain't about, about being gay. Yogurt? It's turning you into women, what bro. What about Greek yogurt? What about it? That's got that's more protein. protein. I ain't gonna lie. Greek yogurt is a little bit less estrogen. Yeah. But that shit that y'all eat is full of estrogen. Even the one if it has a little fruit on the bottom? No, that actually t cuts away. <laughs> that shit is fire. It, that it shit is cuts really away. Good. That does cut away. If you have fruit right, on the bottom, really nice. that Little takes granola. away most of that shit. Yeah, tiny little parfait. Parfait. Yeah, like parfait. 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 If you throw some granola in there, you'll be good. Because oh, yeah, the again. granola will soak it up. Yeah, you got to add some nuts to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to put the yeah, testosterone in there. Like, yeah, yeah. You have to. Bro, this yeah. was the only yogurt my mom bought growing up for my whole life. You ever hear that shit? Fat, yeah. I think you might be right, bro. Because I've been drinking this since I was a little kid. Yeah, but she didn't have the 0% milk fat. We know that for a fact. <laughs> Wait, what? How are, how are you saying that? How are you saying that, bro? How are you saying it? Is that respectful? No, no, with all due respect. With all due respect. I almost got fucking pissed off. With all due respect. I almost got fucking livid. There's no way in hell. I almost got livid. Your moms, with all due respect, bought total 0% milk fat into the house. But how are you? I feel you're saying it. No, with, with all due respect. With all due respect. Right. I just had a mental image respect. that was not right. Ain't no <laughs> way. With all due respect. Ain't no way. I got no yeah. problem with, with that. With all due respect. Yeah, it was, it I'm just saying, respectful. with all due respect. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My mom just became an American citizen with her big titty having ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you saw the comment on your post? No, what is that? Someone commented, goes, the heavies are ours. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Like, That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny you wrote that, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I would never, with all, with due, all respect, due respect, I would never write that, bro. With all due respect. But this respect, is awesome, dude. We need, we need more entrepreneurs, more female entrepreneurs. And yeah. this is a good example of ways you can create products for your, for your audience. We could do something like this. Yeah. We should. I can't try it though. That's cheating. I can't deny it. <laughs> I'm a fucking rider. No, we gotta try that. All right, one more. One more. Hmm. What what y'all think about uh our boy Dwight Howard? Free him, bro. He's Yo, fine. free Dwight. He didn't do love nothing wrong. Love, dog. Free Dwight. Yo, did y'all see Mace's reaction? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yo, shout out to Mason Cameron, so man. Good, dude. I mean, they're just fantastic. Then they're having a time in their lives. I really enjoy it because that's what I, that's what I like coming here doing with y'all. Yeah, is just 
coming here and fucking laughing at how ridiculous we all are. Yeah. And you can see the joy from Cam when May starts to go off on a rant. Yeah. And he's just like, I've known this motherfucker my whole life. This guy is so goddamn funny. And uh, when he started doing the thing about, listen, we got to... We got to be honest here. We say all the time, I don't care what you do in your free time. I don't care what you do when you're by yourself. We do care. Stop <laughs> lying. Stop lying. We do care. We do care, Doe White. He called him Doe White. <laughs> so, I did not know Mace was that funny, yo. Bruh. Yeah, this is so the funny. best thing for Mace. Uh, yeah. I ain't know, like I knew Cam was funny, but I didn't know Mace was this Facts, funny. Yeah. bro. That Facts. shit was hilarious. He's like, bro. He has bits. Yeah. He has bits. He goes, they're asking if it's consensual. A surprise is never consensual. <laughs> Yo, it's like a funny yeah. line. Like, that's a joke. Because that's what the guy yeah. is, I guess, saying. He's like, he surprised him. Someone's in the closet yeah. and they pop down and surprise him. And he goes, a surprise is never consensual, Dwight. That's the point of a surprise. <laughs> like, bro, just so you just can't have a guy pop out in a leprechaun costume. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> nah, it's, it's it's fantastic. Oh, shout Go out. check and it out. Anybody it is on the team, is. please hit him up. Mm -hmm. Yes, we would love to have him. Oh, yeah, God, yeah we need we need Mason Cam, bro. We need Mason Cam to come by flavor. And, Guys, and Dwight for that matter. Can we get Dwight on? Yo, we need, we need Dwight. Dwight. Shout out to come Dwight, on. Superman. Man. Do your fucking thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do your thing, Dwight. <laughs> Do your thing. We saw Dwight at Burning Man. Exactly. Yeah. And let the record show he was with women the whole time. Yeah. Fashion tips, probably. Mm -hmm. Miserable. <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> it was the desert, bro. It was sunny. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, now nah, we got to have Dwight on. We got to talk about all this shit. You were swapping blunts with him, right? Swapping spit? No. You sure? Wait, you shared a blunt with him? Yeah, I think he talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, I remember you talking about it. You, uh, was, you was like, go ahead and nah, pass it back and forth. No, what? And you was like, damn, it's a little get wet. smoked wait, out. Wait, <laughs> what are you talking about? Go I want to say do whatever you do because it's your life and it's nobody else's business. That's true. And we shouldn't care. Thank you. But I care that you were swapping. <laughs> bro, he's Come Superman. Spit with it's Dwayne Superman. Hours, bro. Superman passed you a joint. What are you going to do? Superman passed you a joint. What are you going to say? At that point, he was Superman. Now he's the gay guy. <laughs> he's like, he's not. He's not. He's not. Allegations are still there. We don't know anything. Super Yo, gay. first of all, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but I want him to double down on that shit. Yeah, yeah sure. I agree. Tell us he was smoking out Chinaman when he was over there in Taiwan. Love it. <laughs> love it. Yeah. We would love that. Just be real. We Yo, just. Yo, come. Yeah. We accept you. Alex going to let you crack back, chick. Hey, no. <laughs> come Mark, on, Mark, yo. Mark, no, Alex you will. Yo, let That's him make always, some espresso yeah. out of you. Come That's on. his hometown hero. Yo. Nah, nah. He's going to you flick your beam, baby. That He's going to flick your little hero. No, but you you have your nails painted, bro. Don't matter. He, like, he, don't he likes that. guys like you. That's your hero. He don't want girly shit. Yes, he does. Nah, you can tell. He likes a man's man. He likes a guy like Al, bro. He want a man's man. Nah, you can tell he's a milkman. No, no, no. <laughs> He's a milk man. Uh, yeah, he wants. He wants that mark ass. Nah, he wants right an espresso, there. bro. What about both him. of y'all? What about a little latte? Oh, he would yeah. love that. Mm. Might pop out. Let's go. Oh! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we got you, Dwight. <laughs> anyway, yo, go check out. It is what it is, man. They're fucking great, guys. Thank you so much for for tuning in, watching. Appreciate you, and I appreciate all the birthday wishes. Thank you very much for that. It means a lot. And um, we'll see you guys on Patreon Friday. Peace.